techniques. You can now keep in touch by following Jewelry Maker on Twitter. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information. The fastest way to shop with Jewelry Maker is by going to our website. Just click on the sign up button. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the Watch Live button on the front page. You can also use our Refine tool and narrow down your search. Once you've found an item that you like, just simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day and still only pay one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. We all know that you need the right tools for the job. So here at Jewelry Maker, we have developed our very own tool set just for you. In this larger set, we have provided more tools to help you develop your jewelry making skills even further. The kit includes wire cutters, a bead reamer with replacement tips, an awl, tweezers with a scoop, a sliding gauge, a snip, and all the essential pliers you will need. All of this is yours for just $15.95 neatly presented in a carrying case with an embossed Jewelry Maker logo. Stay tuned for more advice, tutorials and demonstrations of jewellery making. We provide the tools, you provide the skill. Get involved with Jewellery Maker by sending the studio a message during our live hours. You can send a text to 60777 and start your message with JM Studio or, alternatively, go to our website and click on Watch the Live Show. Simply type your message into the box and press Send. Make sure you stay tuned in case your message is read out. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. And then Danny said, of all the presenters he's like to work with, um, it's Drew Nichols that he'd always truth. Oh, hi. Uh, welcome to Design Inspiration with myself, Drew Nichols, self-proclaimed golden wonder from Down Under, and Debs. <laughs> Debs. <laughs> um, two shifts in a row. What's okay. going on? What's going on? Lisa didn't call you Debbie today. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you get away with it once. Yeah. Well, I could time. tell. I could tell. Yeah. There was anger. There was <laughs> There was definite anger in, in Deb's <laughs> eyes when I called her Debbie. I think it's what um, I think it's what I think it's what her mum used to call her when uh, uh, when she was naughty. It's like yeah. it's like it was my little girl name, Is and when right? I got older and bigger, Debs. Yeah. 
Do we need to have a talk? Do we need to do we need to go and have a coffee and a chat and have a talk about uh, what's happened <laughs> yes, in the previous anger management? Uh, a bit of anger issues, management yeah. going on. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, uh, we <laughs> just, the director just said, "All right, you two have been on together quite a lot, haven't you?" Yeah, you know, I, I specifically asked for dibs uh, just so I can say dibs for, uh, for, 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 for I've got dibs on dibs, uh, is what I say upstairs. Uh, there we go. Yeah, you keep giving me good stuff in my ear. I'll use stuff like that. All right. Uh, it doesn't come often, uh, to be fair, out of the gallery. Good stuff doesn't come often out of the gallery. But uh, you know, if it does, I'll use it. Um, take that as a set point. We've got an amazing show for you today. I'm Drew Nichols, by the way. Um, Lucy's other half. I uh, I fill in every now and again uh, when they can't find you, when the cleaner can't do it, when uh, uh, the person who makes the tea can't do it. Uh, I think the car park attendant's also been offered it, but I couldn't do it, so they get me into it to help out. Uh, I've been here about 10 years. I live upstairs normally in a little box called uh, The Lounge and uh, I've just come off there from a shift to come down and bring you some beautiful pieces of jewellery making. And of course I've got the lovely uh, uh, dibs to, uh, uh, to, to, to help us along and to uh, inspire me as well as you. I'm very excited about what we've got for you today. We have got uh, Friendly Plastic. Now, um, I did a bit of research on this last night because I knew nothing about this yesterday. Um, and I went on to, um, I went on to the Drew Maker uh, YouTube and I had a look. So if you put Friendly Plastic in the search engine in the, in the Drew Maker website, you can see some amazing stuff being done with that. It is, uh, I think sometimes the word plastic has has bad connotations don't you think sometimes yeah. and people automatically switch off and they think oh, you know i don't really want to do uh, but yeah. it's an incredible medium isn't it i'm do you know i've never really used it properly yeah yeah um until i had these kits and i love it it's brilliant you can make it look like metal yeah who did that yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> and yeah. i i absolutely love sheet metal and working in yeah um like copper and yeah. Um, aluminium and things. So this, it's um, even quicker and yeah. easier than working in, in metal, but you can get metallic type effects. And things you and can't do in metal, you can do in this, yeah, in this genre as well, can't stuff, you? stuff, you can stick things together so easily with it. I mean, I watched, um, um, I watched a, a couple of demonstrations and I think it's one of those, it's, it's, you can just come up with so many different ways. You're going to be yeah. looking around your house for different patterns on things. Yeah. You're going to be using <laughs> forks. You're going to be using uh, the end of spoons. You're going to be using uh, tools from your husband's tool shed or guys from your own tool shed uh, or ladies from your own tool shed, you know, yeah. And, uh, yeah. and, and just getting all sorts of patterns. Uh, <clears throat> that is coming up. Um, a little bit later, so please, please, please do stay with us. It's an amazing, amazing, amazing thing. Um, also, coming up at half past two, we've got a little bit of a tool section. Yes, we love our tools. And for the first time ever by itself, dun, 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 the uh, nylon jawed pliers. If you want to get hold of these, these are great if you want to uh, protect, your, protect your work. Um, that is coming up. That is coming up half past two, along with a few other tools. Along with two, a few tools. We're very excited about that. Um, we've got a, pl a polymer, polymer clay um, and um, a carver tools in those as well. So, uh, uh, yeah, we've got a little, little tool section for you at half past two. Also, oh, it minds my precious. <laughs> I like it. I want it, dibs. I've I'm got six. It. Have you the seen box? these? Do you know no, what's in the box? I don't. I've not seen these. Right. If you are in business, you need this in your life. Trademark Lucy Nichols, 2012. <laughs> if you make pendants, you need this in your life. If you fail to put your pendants on a chain because of the cost of chains or you want to use 925 sterling silver chains on your pendants, you need this in your life. I have got for you, I have got for you eight individual 925 sterling silver chains. I am going to bring you these. What, what would you pay? Wow. What would you pay for sterling silver chain? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to guarantee these under four pounds per chain under four pounds per chain. Try, well, before these come on, try and find a chain, a 925 sterling silver chain, for under four pounds. Oh, oh, 
<laughs> right, I've got some uh, sterling silver crimp beads coming up as well, coming up in three auctions time. Uh, but we're going to start with a little, little uh, 95 sterling silver finding selection for you here. And it's Sunday. I like a Sunday. I like a Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, it is. It's, yeah, it's good. Well, I requested you to work today, Dibs, so, you. Uh, you know, that's why you've got today. Uh, you. Just so you know that. It's, uh, it's all about me. Uh, we've got <laughs> uh, shepherd, Shepherd's Hook Crooks. It is oh, a shepherd's, no. hook, shepherd's Hooks Crook. Oh, there yeah? you go. There you go. So uh, Ooh, we've got nice. it. We, we had an argument. We didn't have an argument. We had a discussion. No, was, yeah. we, neither of us knew. No. Well, I was right, but neither of us knew. <laughs> uh, 95 sterling silver fancy flower shepherd's hook earrings. Three pairs of these. These are love. I love these with these little uh, designs on the top. I mean, they just, they're perfect, aren't they? they Absolutely are. perfect. They are. They're gorgeous, just like that. If I show you the profile, yeah, you could wear them just like this. Mm. Of course, you've got your little uh, hook there, which you can uh, place a little drop. So, uh, three pairs, three pairs, 95 sterling silver. It doesn't matter how you get to the phone, run, jump, row, but make sure you get to the phone. Nine pounds at 95. Oh, do you know what? My eyes. I am going to get a monocle. Look at this. 9.95. They are gorgeous. Lovely. 95. I'm going to give up on the tweezers. If you know, they're just going <laughs> yeah, to give up on those. it's not working, is uh, it? 95 sterling silver on those. Lovely little floral design on that. <laughs> really nice. Uh, good to see the Deb and Drew show. Yay! Uh, looking <laughs> forward uh, to Deb getting Drew to make a piece. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking, forward, I, I, I'm looking forward to uh, Deb trying to make, get me to make a piece as well. Uh, <laughs> £9.95. I mean, it's Drew, Danny and Debs. Yay. It's a 3Ds. I've just come it's down from good. Drew and Danny upstairs in the, uh, in the lounge. Uh, 9 95 there's only how many left? How many left? Oh, three pairs, oh, three of those left. It's going to be one of those shows, is it? going to be one of those shows. Uh, don't forget, we've got the 95 sterling silver crimp beads coming up very soon as well. I've got square wire today as well. <laughs> you spoiled me. It's because I thought someone else was going to be on. <laughs> is that what That's it is? why. Yeah. That's why. Ta-da, I can't believe, can't believe we've given all this stuff and Drew's on. Uh, this is, <laughs> uh, these are your earrings. Uh, these are your loop earrings uh, findings. And basically, it gives you a, um, a whole host of ideas. You can use the center loop, or you can uh, choose to not uh, use the center loop. And you can have a little drop. I love that idea of, um, of like a little pear-shaped piece sitting in the yes. center. You know, so it's sort of framed, but it's not connected um, to the yeah, outside. Yeah, so it's I like almost that. floating yeah, yeah, bezel around. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then you could leave those loose, if you want, uh, leave those free. Or you could uh, have some drops coming off those as well. Uh, two pairs of these, uh, the, uh, they are 33 by 18 millimetres in your 95 sterling silver plain drops. Uh, so uh, three loop earrings. Do you know, if you want to be pretend, it's four loops really, isn't it? Isn't it, Danny? It's four loops. Yeah? You know, I am going to be pedantic because there's another loop up there. It's another loop up there. You don't count that loop because you can't put anything in that loop. But that loop, there's four loops, isn't it? You know what I mean? Well, Technically, it's five loops, isn't it? D don't start. <laughs> don't start. Do you know what? If you, if you turn around that way. It looks like, like a, a mouse. It's, a, <laughs> it's like, it is like a mouse. <laughs> it's a mouse finding. <laughs> Look at that. It's awesome. Uh, <laughs> we have your loops. I mean, chandelier drops as well. Yeah. These are what? These are four, really, isn't it? It is, but they're good for necklaces. Oh, okay. Three strands at the front, and then just the one or a chain going round the back. So, as in centre, three strands dropping from the bottom, and then yeah, yeah. So you can have one on either side, and three strands looping round. One on either side. One of your earring findings on. One either of your side earrings on either side. Necklace. Yep. And then. And then three strands, three strands, in, strands between. in between. <laughs> 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 I've been up since quarter to six, all right? Uh, six, pounds, six pounds. Six pounds 95. Do I want a what? 
<laughs> a sporadic alarm clock. No, I haven't. Six pounds ninety-five. I have to have a really gentle alarm clock, or I wake everyone up in our house. It goes. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh yeah. Does it get louder? It does get louder. Yeah, yeah. yeah if you don't wake up. Uh, Six pounds ninety-five. Ninety-five sterling silver. Plane drop and three three loop earring findings. Uh, well done and good afternoon to you all wherever you are in the world. Um, Oxfordshire, Greater London, Newport, Worcestershire, Somerset, Devon, Northamptonshire, Essex, uh, County Down, uh, Angus, Tyne and Weir, Greater Manchester, Anglesey, County Down. Uh, good afternoon, uh, De Bruges, De Bruges, uh, De Bruges, Drew and all the gang. Got mine, yay, have a great show, hugs. Alan GD, Hi, London, Alan. carry on with the giggles. De Bruges, is that your... <laughs> That's Jenny and Lucy come up with that. <laughs> it wasn't me. Was it? Is that, who coined it? Lucy. De, Lucy. De Bruges. And, yeah. And, That's um, like a... And Jenny. <laughs> they, just they, they just sort of... Because <laughs> you're high end. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You, yeah. should, you could have a jewellery line and call it I De Bruges. I could. Yeah. I could. Yeah. Designed with De Bruges. It's, you, you sound like an 80s trio. Um, oh no, that was DeBarge, wasn't it? <laughs> right. <laughs> now we have we have the piece de resistance. What did DeBarge sing? And when it started something, when it started. Was it? Is it? I don't know. Um, I think you're making that up. I'm probably wrong. What did DeBarge sing? You need to find that out for me out there in the gallery. Yeah. As in DeBarge, D-E-B-A-R-G-E, -E, I think it's spelled. Are these uh, your 90... F rhythm of the Night? Doing the rhythm oh. of the night. Heaven then went down to the rhythm of the night. There's until the morning. Like, yes, yeah, see, yeah. I was right. Yeah, you were right. Uh, Sorry. Right, here we go. This is uh, your sterling silver crimp lugs. Uh, your sterling silver uh, crimp beads, sorry, what do they call them? Crimp lugs. lugs. That's the ele do you know what? I haven't been an electrician for 15 years. That's the electrician coming back. Really? Crimp lugs. Yeah. I've never heard of it. Lugs are no, the they thing on watches. They're, 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 they're electrical crimp lugs because they have a lug on the end that you can put it onto a screw. But these are crimp beads. I digress. Uh, 95 sterling silver <laughs> crimp bead covers. So basically, if you do a crimp on a, uh, on a piece of jewellery... <laughs> See, I moved us off that really quickly. Yeah. Did you notice that, Dibs? I think, I'm, I, think yeah. I did that quite well. A um, hundred... No one a, a hundred of these. They are four millimetre. So, uh, I mean, very, very, very simple. You pop that um, over your join wheel, your crimpers, and then you just crimp it shut. Four millimetres on these. Um, average sterling silver weight, 4.2 grams of your 925 sterling silver. Love that spark. I mean, what you get with 925 sterling silver, I mean, to put it, we always talk about being able to put it on your sword and be able to say it on your mm. sword. It's, it's yeah. just that little bit of class, isn't it? It is. It is. And, and again, it's something that people are drawn to. Yeah. Because they, they've seen it before and... How many different size in the crimp? Are they like different size crimp covers? Like four, six, eight? Are they are they that sort of? Um, they don't tend to come with measurements actually. Uh, these are so the sterling silver ones. These are four millimeters. So four is that inter is that external diameter? Is that on those? I'm thinking. Oh no, it's probably internal diameter, isn't it? Probably internal mm. diameter on that. Um, so when you squeeze that shut, of course it's going to squeeze shut onto. Your uh, your little crimp that you've done, yeah. Or you can just put or it onto a piece it of wood. Or just use it as spaces, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So what free running spaces, or do, would you crimp? You it can on? do. Yeah. Yeah. You if can do. Um, but I I would generally try and crimp it in position. Yeah. So that um, you know it is yeah. exactly yeah. where you want it. But and it's it's good to sort of stop pieces, other pieces sliding along. I suppose, isn't yeah. it? You know, as well. Yeah. Um, lots of people coming in for these. Congratulations, uh, all of you that are coming in. Um, we haven't even given you the price yet, but we're about to give you an amazing deal, an incredible deal, because it's Deal Sunday. It's Denny, Drew, and De, Bar De Bruges. De what is it? De, <laughs> De Bruges, yeah. De Bruges. <laughs> Special show. <laughs> 14.95, a hundred individual sterling silver crimp bead covers, four, four millimetre in size. I've actually got cramp on my hand now from holding that for so long. Um, 
you know what they need? They need some of those tweezers where you can slide the bit of metal up and it stays. Um, oh yeah. 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 I'll have a word. Uh, 1495. Uh, well done, uh, Kath, Evelyn, Florence. Pauline, uh, Anonymous, uh, Christine, uh, Teresa, Sheila, Fee, and Lorna, um, Christine, Susan in Norfolk as well. I've uh, got Sue in the West Midlands just joining us there. 1495. I mean, that is an amazing price. 100, 100 crimp beads. Um, you know, when do we offer 100 of 95 sterling silver? When do we ever offer 100 of, of 95 sterling silver at this sort of price? 14.95. We know it's busy on a Sunday. We know you're home on a Sunday. We know you're thinking about stocking up. We know you want to get the great deals. That's why we're bringing you these great deals. At 14 pounds and 95 pence, uh, we have got an incredible show for you today. Uh, we've got the wonderful friendly plastic coming up. We've got the square wire. At 2.30, we've got a selection of tools, including the nylon jaw pliers for the very first time ever by themselves, and they they are going to be an incredible deal. We've got the bezel mandrel. Uh, we've got the um, uh, we've got the polymer clay carving tools as well. Um, so yeah, two thirty. If you need tools in your life, oh, come and join me. Uh, <laughs> I'll move on from that. Uh, for fourteen ninety five. Yeah, you're right, Debs. Uh, 0800 655 on that. A hundred of those. Right. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, hello. Okay, we have we have final chance. We have final opportunity, final chance on these. Uh, these are natural pearls and natural peridot. So your pearls, your organic gem, uh, your peridot, what's known as an idiochromatic gem. It's a gemstone that you will only get as a green gemstone. It means it's mineral, it's, um, uh, the, the elements that make up the gemstone are intrinsically linked with the colour. So you'll only get peridot as a green. Olivine family, of course. Uh, you have your gorgeous, gorgeous pearls with bridal season coming up. Oh, you got any weddings to go to, Debs? Uh, not this year. No, I haven't either. No. I'm beginning to think of upsetting no. everybody. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's what happens. You join Facebook, you upset everyone, don't you? Um, this is all we've got left. This is all we've got left. 0800 and a full double strand. Check this out. Oh, my goodness. For the natural pearls alone, eight pounds 95 we'll chuck in the peridot we'll chuck in the peridot with that eight pounds 95 that is incredible like i say the pearls alone beautiful beautiful string of pearls look at that big enough big enough for a choker you know a little choker next with a little bit of chain on the back there um obviously doesn't suit me um but eight pounds 95 crazy uh leanne says uh, great to see the duo on screen it's going to be a great afternoon we'll be the judge of that leanne uh <laughs> yes it will be a great <laughs> and uh Hi, we're looking forward to seeing Deb's designs. Best place today in front of fire and TV. The fire? No, snowing. The, the fire. Where's uh, Where's Joe? Col Caithness. Ca Caithness. It sounds it sounds it sounds a bit Scottish. Is it snowing in Scotland? It was gorgeous when I came in. It was gorgeous when I. Well, I say that it was yeah, dark. That was it was dark when I came <laughs> in. Middle of the night. <laughs> Sold out. Those are gone. Those are gone. As they say in the Eurovision, nil poids. Um, box number seven. Let's go pearls. Oh, these are a lovely colour. These are really, really lovely colour. Okay, limited, limited again on these. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful colours. Now, with the pearls, they do take colour incredibly, incredibly well. And you have these lovely minty hues. There's a, a real sort of spearmint, delicate, pastel colour. Uh, and then you have the peach on there as well. A great, great, great look. And of course, with the pearls, even though you've got dye pearls, you still have that orient effect, that effect, that ability to see the colour over the top of the gemstone. As you look over the top of the gem, uh, then uh, that's where you see that's um, that's the layers, the iridescence, which is the small layers because the uh, um, the oyster or the um, um, uh, whatever this has been formed in uh, protects it with layer upon layer upon layer of nacre, and microscopic layers. And over um, a few years, they build up to the size of these pearls. Start off by placing a little seed pearl normally inside. Um, again, the two gorgeous colours. 
they are beautiful. A little bit, um, almost like a little bit of, of, of a metallic shine to these, aren't they, with the pearls? Yeah, they're really nice. And the two colours work perfectly together. I like the two sizes so, as well. Yeah. Because they're not, I don't know, but they're not seed. Are they? Would you class these as seed? Um, the peach, no, rice beads. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, yeah, they're not quite, uh, quite big, uh, a bit too big for it to be seed uh, uh, seed pearls, but uh, rice beads. Is that the size? Is that what they call rice beads? Are they all this it's, size, are they? Yeah, the rice beads are sort of the elongated. So could they be different? If they, could they be rice beads but bigger or smaller? Are they always sort of this yes, sort of size? Yes, they could be bigger. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, see, if you're, if you're watching for the first time, I always say it's, I'm a good person to watch because <laughs> I do ask the basic questions. Sometimes very basic questions. We've got we've got two strands. Ooh. Do you know what? I thought the last pro uh, the last lice, lice price. I thought the lice price was uh, <laughs> the last price was good. This is impressive. We've only got was it thirty seven. Uh, I've thir got 39, only got 39 in stock. As you can see, these are going out the door. Hello, hello, hello to Judith, Teresa, uh, Chesha, Alta Hebrides. Uh, I've got Nicola, I've got Elizabeth, I've got um, Fee, Joan, Alan, Sue, Eleanor, Carol, Tina, uh, Essex, Gillian and Devon, Audrey in Northumberland, Martha in Michigan. Martha in Michigan. Hello, Martha in Michigan. How are you? How's Michigan? Probably snowing in Michigan as well. Sounds like a place it could be snowing today. Uh, six pounds and ninety-five pence. Uh, six pounds ninety-five. Not for one. For both of these strands, uh, Caithness is North Scotland. I live thirty ah. miles south of John O'Groats. Blimey, that is North Scotland, isn't it? <laughs> it doesn't get much. It doesn't get much north um, than that. Um, and uh, hi, Drew and Deb. Fantastic show. It's sunny in Irvine in Scotland, but we got four. But we get four <laughs> seasons in one day. Uh, do you know what? It's season. like New Zealand. You never know what's where, though, do you? I always have that problem. Mm. I always have that problem. That's why I enjoyed school with school uniforms. You never have to worry about what to wear, do you? That was good. Yeah. You know, yeah. We should we should all we should all just wear school uniforms the whole time. You know, then we'd all look like we then we'd look like guitarists <laughs> from ACDC. No, <laughs> probably not a good idea. Um, this is uh, we've got single <laughs> figures. Are all the single figures? 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 If you got it, then you better put them in. Um, £6.95. Do you know what? £6.95. Sorry, did I just pull... I do just pull things out of shot. I'm very sorry about that. I'm very sorry. I'm used to working in the lounge. I don't have luxuries like camera operators in the lounge, you see. Um, box number... Ooh! Ooh! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You're hiding it. I know. Show me. Check Devs. Check Let's this see. out. Oh nice. How nice is that? That is awesome. That is. Yeah. That, that is awesome. Is Awesome. Wow. Beautiful design. Now, this is carved. It is incredible what we can do for you. This is adventurine. Gets its name from adventurescence, which is small little um, inclusions, copper inclusions, a phenomena gemstone. So you get this wonderful little sparkle uh, within the gemstone. Uh, Aventurescence comes from the word aventura, which means by accident or by chance. And it goes back to the Milano glass blowers dropping copper filings into, uh, um, into, a, into a, a glass that they were working on. And they got this wonderful effect of these beautiful little flashes within the, um, uh, within the glass. So therefore, aventura by chance, it happened by chance. Also, we have for you your green stripe agate. Isn't that gorgeous? How's that leaf? I've never. How many of these have we got? Yeah. Okay, we've got a good quantity of these. If you wish to have one of these, you will not miss out. Um, now, the, I don't want to dismiss the green stripe agate, so we'll have a quick look at this. This is quartz. 
So basically, quartz grows and grows and grows layer upon layer upon layer. And depending what is present when that layer grows, you get the different colors. You get these different stripes that run through. And you can see that wonderful, wonderful effect. Um, I did, I was just, um, this is agate, so it's agate quartz. Yeah, so agate quartz. Uh, basically, agate is cryptocryptoline quartz. Um, so that is beautiful already. That's quite a big uh, cabochon that you've got there. Um, and um, can I just say as well, um, that you will get that in that size, 40 by 30 millimeters. That is the size that you will get, 40 by 30 millimeters. It's not done by carat weight, it's done by size on that. Um, and then the leaf. I want to come back to the leaf. This is, um, you can't do this with a machine. This is done no. by hand. The quality of carving and polishing that it takes on a piece such as this, it is, I mean, that is a centerpiece, absolute centerpiece. Where would you use this? I, I see you drooling with envy over there. <laughs> uh, where, where would you use this? Definitely on a necklace. And yep. I, I'd quite like to get two or three, probably three, yep. um, and wire wrap with them. Yeah, yeah. Coming yeah. around the neckli neckline in a talk. Um, I quite like the green man I imagery as well, so I'm thinking yep. um, you could have like a polymer clay green yeah, yeah, man head yeah. and then these working out with some smaller leaves and things yep. in wire from his mouth going around what, the neck. That would be amazing. And even as a mould. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. You, know, you could use this as a mould uh, to, to use in your, poly in your polymer clay so you can make a load of these. Um, these are, do, you, do you know where I can, I, and I don't know why, because I, I, I don't wear them, I don't, you know, but you know the arm bracelets further yes. up the arm? Yeah. I mean, that's quite sort of striking, and it's quite flat on the back there as well, so if you did want to yeah. wear it against the skin, it does have a flat, um, a flat backside, if I can use that terminology, <laughs> um, on, on the back there, so, uh, so if you want to sit it up against the skin, uh, very, 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 very well and done, but that is awesome, absolutely awesome. Now, um, like I say, we do have an all right quantity of these, but um, I don't know if we can give you a, um, a can, we, can we show the screen? Can we give an idea of how many people are coming in for this? Because you are gonna have to be, you are gonna have to confirm these. You are gonna have to confirm these if you want these, because um, they are absolutely flying out the door. Now, I would have expected this, I would have expected this, um, honestly, to be about 15 to 20 pounds, somewhere around that sort of region. The sheer size of this carved, this is a carved gemstone, mm. intricately carved gemstone, and I don't want to disregard the huge cabochon that you're <laughs> getting there as well. Um, but for me, I just love, I loved, I love the carved. I mean, it's gorgeous. Look at the textures, look at the way it sort of flows through. It is a beautiful, beautiful example. And the polish, the finish is gorgeous. Congratulations, Tracy, Pamela, Pauline, Corinne, Jean, uh, Fatima, well done to you, Greater Manchester, Sue, Carol, Carol, uh, Sally, Patricia, uh, Deborah, Rosalind, Alan, another Deborah there, Kathleen, another Carol, Helen, Gillian, Alison, uh, Alison, Jane, June, uh, Wendy, Audrey, Ivy, uh, Jacqueline, and uh, well done, well done, well done, well done. Uh, seven pounds ninety-five. Seven pounds ninety-five. Unbelievable. I can read your mind, Divs gag. Are there going to be any of those left? Yeah. Are there going to be any of those left? <laughs> we need a code. We need someone at home buying. I was trying so to be dead cool as well. I'll it's get like that for Dibs, will you? Uh, Agent 47, <laughs> get that for Gems. Uh, Agent 47, uh, oh, I like that. Agent 47, yeah. £7.95. Um, how's, how's stock looking on those? Half the stock is gone. Half the stock is gone. Um, now then, uh, we shall. Uh, uh, shall we keep those here so we can keep keep you updated? Because very, very, very popular on that. Uh, right. Uh, do not go anywhere. Design inspiration is where you're at. And what's happening now?
Uh, right, uh, designer inspiration. Designer inspiration. Uh, we are handing over to Debs some gorgeous abalone. Have a look. Abalone. Even I've started calling it abalone. I was just gonna... Abalone. Yeah, yeah, I was there. Yeah. Um, so you have here two strands of your abalone. It is a gemstone of wonderful rainbows of colours. Gorgeous rainbows of colours. Um, it is a gemstone that um, you can get very poor examples of this. Very poorly made, very poorly crafted. I want you to, I just want to point out, if I can just pop those off there, I just want to point out the quality of these. Have a look. This is what's known as um, um, as a triplet, it's not uh, um, a strict triplet, but it's a triplet because there's three three portions to it. So you have your abalone shell, then you have a piece of matrix, and then you have your abalone shell on the other side there. So they are put together to give you this wonderful, wonderful depth, and to to give you basically usable beads that you've got on here. And look at all those rainbows of colours. It is an amazing couple of strands. The, again, we're talking about iridescence. I spoke about iridescence with, uh, with the pearls. This is the layer upon layer upon layer upon layer on the pearls. And you get the same, you can see the layers in the abalone shells here. You can see how they, the, again, the mother of pearl as it's known, that's because it's the, um, it's the material that protects the pearl. So it mothers the pearl, it protects the pearl, mother of pearl. Um, and it is the same material in which the pearl is actually made from uh, that nacre is, uh, um, is is what is what is what you have there but wonderful wonderful colors and shapes on those uh, you're getting rectangles which are 12 by 8 millimeters and the coins are 10 millimeters on these the coins are 10 millimeters on these absolutely gorgeous and then also to add to that obviously because we gave uh, um, uh, we gave this to Debs uh, about a week week ago had it a week uh, yeah Start about a week ago, about week ago. Um, this is your friendly plastic this is your friendly plastic and it is a medium of I'm gonna say infinite variety because I don't know if you will ever run out of options of things to do with this. And I think it's one of those mediums which you could easily bypass. And please, mm. please, please do not, because it is incredibly affordable. Um, and you can utilize this alongside yep. your jewelry that you make already, can't you? Yeah, it works. It would work definitely 100% with everything yeah so yeah. your wire you could build it into macrame yeah polymer anything with the lace it's absolutely mm. amazing um, Liz does some fantastic techniques using the lace right and the, the friendly plastic um, is it's just brilliant stuff it's got loads of potential and what I love about this that I noticed when I was watching and they mentioned a few times is it is a hundred percent recyclable mm -hmm. so if you do something if it doesn't work yeah you can, you can redo it also the little off cuts you can do things with those as well because you can yeah. you can keep using reusing you can have another go it's a very forgiving medium as well um, amazing amazing opportunity we're going to give you today on this glorious colors I'm really 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 excited really excited we only have is that it um, okay so we've got the abalone and we've got the friendly plastic we only have 48 um, of these kits available so I do apologize about that if you wish to get these please 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 do get in nice and quick so you get the flat coins the rectangles um, you get the plastic strips which are the um, Floral Garden Blue, the Fuchsia, the uh, Gold, the Green, the Multicolor, and the Sherbet, and the Stripe on there as well. So these were made for each other. These were made to go with each other. If you are waiting to try yourself on a new medium, if you are getting a little bit stuck in the mud with your designs when it comes to jewelry, when it comes to the gemstones, utilize this alongside. It is affordable, it is reusable, it is 
incredibly beautiful as well. And how many times have you gone to the store to look for that bead? That one bead, mm. that one piece. The amount of times I have looked through a million beads with Lucy and it's not the right one. <laughs> I need it. I need it paint. Yeah. I need a point on it here. I need some things here. And it, uh, what about this one? No. Uh, what about that? No. <laughs> um, um, we have sorted and sorted and sorted. I've seen you. Yes, you. You jewelry makers. <laughs> I've seen you with our bead bins out in the back here, searching for that one, that mighty bead uh, that you're after. You can create your own beads with these. Uh, that bespoke piece. Maybe you come up with a signature bead, which is your signature mm. bead. This is the medium in which you do it with. Um, absolutely gorgeous. We have, we have reduced this price immensely. Okay, for what you see here, we should be around the £40 mark. We're going to give you a huge reduction. A huge reduction on this today. One price. One price straight down. We want you to be inspired by this show. £24.95. That is for the friendly plastic that you see here and also the abalone strands as well. £24.95. It's a fantastic price and you can utilize, I mean I love this because you don't need much. You can, you know, you can do this without buying any extra tools if you wish. You can utilize the tools that you have already um, to make these things because most of it is really hand, isn't it? Yeah. Most of it is hand. You know, a, a bit of cutting, as long as yeah, you've got scissors. sort of sharp, a sharp implement that, that's not going to get stuck on the plastic, then you're, then you're fine as well. Um, of course, then we'll tell you about the, the other tools that you can buy when, when, we, go, when we go over to Debs. But £24.95, amazing opportunity. Uh, by the way, talking about tools, don't forget, coming up at 2.30, Oh, we're going to get we're going to we're going to get exciting on our tools. We're going to get very exciting on our tools. Uh, we've got a little tool selection for you coming up at two thirty. Oh, there we go. I, I was hiding then. I was hiding there. <laughs> I'm going to bring I'm going to bring these with me. Are you excited? Look, first time yeah. ever. First time ever. Uh, anyway, so there's the nylon jaw pliers coming up at two thirty with a little selection of tools. Right. Um, like I say, I did know nothing about this yesterday, and I've gone on and have a look on, on YouTube, which you can. On YouTube, you put Friendly Plastic um, JM, and it'll, it'll bring up loads of, uh, um, loads of videos and DVDs yeah. and bits and bobs yep. for that. But isn't it an awesome, awesome medium? It is. And I think what really amazes me about it is the finish that you get had always put me off slightly before yeah. because it's it's really shiny it's really blingy and and I just thought that's too much yeah, yeah. and that that's why I've, I've sort of tended towards polymer clay I think more than the yeah. friendly plastic and I was tempted to try it out but it was it was that shine and finish yeah, that yeah. put me off um, but it's amazing. You can change the texture. You can change the finish. You don't have to have it really yeah. bright and, yeah. you know, shiny. You can make it look like um, beaten metal. Yeah, you yeah. can make it yeah. look like yeah. anodized um, titanium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's incredible. And and when you start actually manipulating the sheets and taking it away from being a strip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then. That's that's where your brain starts yeah, yeah, firing, yeah, if yeah. you like, and you you come up with so many things that you can do with it. They, uh, it's the colours. It's and I think it, it, uh, what I like about this is it seems mm. to inspire you as you're working with it, doesn't it? Because yeah, the, all yeah. the you know the the, the two different layers and the colours come through um, as you start working with the pieces. So here you have uh, these wonderful cuffs. Is this one strip? Is this, um, um, the pink one is two, so it's one, oh, okay. one full yep. strip, yep. and then I've added the coppery gold section yep. on, so um, it's wider than y a standard strip. Right, okay. Um, and then there's other bits and pieces put in there. See and the things that you can do, it is, it's an amazing, yeah. and I love that, love the colouring on that, the patterning on that is amazing. Then, then you've got... It reminds me of a famous painting, and I can't remember yeah, what it's called. Yeah, it's a called. bit like a Gustav Klimt, like the is Kiss or something. Yeah, yeah, with yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. 
He's one of my favourite artists. Oh, was that right? Yeah. Uh, the, did you like that? Did you appreciate that? I know, that was I really I saw clever. it straight away. Really clever. I don't know the name of the picture, <laughs> the name of the picture of the artwork, but uh, uh, yeah, but it's uh, straight away. But he uses lots of um, geometric shapes yeah. in his work. That's where I've sort of picked up with the, the circles on the yeah. pink one as well, yeah. with the dots that comes through in Klimt quite a lot. Uh, and then we have, of course, the use of the because you get two abalone, strain, abalone strands here as well. If I say that after a drink, <laughs> um, you got your little uh, drop earrings there, and then the piece de resistance. I went to town. It all come <laughs> together. All come together as a grand finale piece, and that is um, again. Just, I love the way that you can mould this to what you to what yeah. you want. Yeah. You know, I, I was watching uh, uh, Jenny do a um, do a piece on on YouTube, and she and she picked it up in the train. She says, "Can I just do what I want?" Mm. And, she, and, and Jenny had never picked it up, never seen it, and instantly made a little poppy out of it. And yeah, you know, yeah, and it's just it's you can do what you like. Um, simple to use. Deb, your designs are lovely. I like the more muted colours. Mm. There we go. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Right, uh, what are you going to show us, Dibs? Um, I'm going to show you, on the, s on the necklace, okay. I was going to show you how I got this texture. Um, because you can use that in all sorts of different beads and things. There. Okay, okay. Um, and then I'm going to show you the Klimt cuff. So the one yep. with all the different colours. Yep. And depending on time, I can this show you. Yeah, yep. that one there. So I can also show you... Um, how I stuck together bits and things okay. that then go, translates into the pink one with the okay. copper stripe. Yep. So um, if we start off, um, let me think, where should we? We'll start off sticking everything together for the cuff. Okay. And then I can show you how to shape it as well. So these different so colours that you see on here are made from uh, the rainbow and the um, the rainbow and the gold. Those are those are yep. made from basically it's two different sheets. Yeah. That one, that one. I use. So this three. is what we are. Uh, just those. Oh, there we go. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. There. <laughs> so that. See the different colours. Those are the two different sheets that uh, Dibs is going to use. I you also used. I've chopped all mine up, so I can't show you the complete sheet. But it's the one that's got the stripes on. I won't make you put them well. all back together. I've got, know, I've got yeah. them over here. I'll go get them. <laughs> the stripey <laughs> one. How did I? You give us something. She chops it up. I know. Uh, so it was that one there, was it? That one. Yeah. That one there. There we go. And the plain gold one as well. So. Um, the plain gold one yep, there as well. and that one. So it's really easy stuff to work with. Um, and this cuff is amazing how quickly it actually comes together. Um, because you think if you're cutting all these squares out of your sheets, then it's going to take ages for to reassemble it, yep. get it all to come back together. But in reality, it doesn't. So, to start off, I just took the one sheet there and then grabbed a ruler and a sharp, I've got an awl, but um, whatever you've, you've got. Ooh. So oh, an I, haven't, awl. I haven't heard that name since, uh, since fifth form engineering. Oh, you obviously haven't been here often enough. No, true, true. Just scratch the surface slightly. So I'm measuring in one and a half centimeters from the the edge, and then I'm going to draw a line through so that I get my squares more or less straight yep. and nice and neat. Then just use your scissors to cut down the line. And it cuts through really easily. Yeah, I, this is what I found with it. It's such an easy yeah. medium to work with, isn't it? It is. And forgiving, forgiving, forgiving. And uh, you know, the bespoke pieces you can make is absolutely incredible. Um, while you're cutting through that, I'm just yep. going to give you a quick. Um, we, we get, we've got a few. We've got quite a bit to bring you in the show today, so I'm going to I'm going to keep uh, keep bringing you pieces throughout the show as well. Uh, we have some uh, three a three pack of glue. 
three pack of glue for you. You never know what you're going to get here, do you? You never know what you're going to get here on, uh, uh, on, on JM. Uh, so we've got uh, two of the cement and one of the clear, of the E6000 clear. So when we talk about um, uh, karma braids and things like that, gluing them into lugs and, um, yep. and maybe just putting a little spot of glue somewhere to stop something from moving around, this yep. is the cement that you use. Uh, so you've got three of those. Uh, this, uh, we've only got the last of stock. This was an offer that was put on the other day. Um, went absolutely mad. Absolutely mad for you glue on these ones. So um, uh, if you want to get these, uh, I mean, three individual tubes here for six pounds and 95 pence. Amazing deal. Amazing deal. So uh, you will need to be quick on those. Um, sorry about this. Like I said, we have got That's lots right. to bring you, and we're a bit short on time. So I'm going to be dropping those in. Um, okay. If you get fed up, Debs, just let me know. I'll kick you. <laughs> she will, you know. I will. You... Yeah. It's not a joke. <laughs> right. So I've cut out loads of strips, um, and then once you cut your strip, just cut it into sections. Yep. So you've got more or less. It doesn't have to be absolutely accurate. Yep more or less squares of each of your, your different strips yep. and then all I did was randomly try to um, line them up so I had three lines and I also used um, lost my scissors also used some s different size strips in there so Okay, yep. But keep into the, the one and a half centimetre, yep, yep. more or less, width. So line them up. Try not to get too the same. And this stripey um, sheet is brilliant because you can have your stripes running yep. up and down turn it, or turn it side to side, yeah. So um, three strips then. I want that one. Put that one, and just play around with them until you've got um, your three lines, and it doesn't need to be totally clean, all the edges touching or anything at this stage. Yeah, just Put getting your, your basic shape, getting, your basic pattern. Yeah, what you're doing so, on it. So once you've you've got that, um, you can then start to connect them up. So if I get rid of that. So what you need for this is your heat gun. Um, and it's easier to use the heat gun for this design than it is to use like a hot water bath. So you can okay. you can put your plastic um, into a hot um, this sort of design is probably easier with a heat gun, isn't it? But with a heat think. gun you just you're just gonna work How along. How would you do this in a hot water bath? It would take a lot longer because you'd have to um, set it out, put them in a hot water bath, put it take in, one out, take and then yeah. join them together. Okay. Yeah, and it, it would. Uh, uh, it the would heat gun. Uh, there's the price on the heat gun down below. Uh, fourteen pounds and uh, ninety-five. Uh, fourteen ninety-five on the heat gun. Uh, by the way, the glue is uh, absolutely flying out the door. Uh, only eighteen left on the glue. Only eighteen left on on the glue. Okay. Um, all right, uh, just before we do that, we're going to, because uh, these, these tie in as well, because you can use these, um, uh, you the can stamps, can't you? On, on uh, so <gasps> these. I've not seen that one before. I've seen that one, not that one. No. We've got, <laughs> what one, what one have you seen? This one. That one. That's amazing. It's like um, op art. So Bridget Riley paintings and things where it all goes woo in front of your eyes. All goes what? Opti woo! Optical <laughs> illusions and stuff. It's amazing. <laughs> That sheet is incredible. Uh, illusionary. Oh, I see. Yes, look, it actually does it it's on the doing TV. It on a bit there, yeah, yeah, it does it on the TV a bit there. Oh yes, I see Aren't what you mean. Brilliant. I see what you mean. Uh, so, um, have you got? Um, uh, do you get both of these? Do you? Yep. Lisa Pavelka, love letter stamp. Love letter straight from your heart. Uh, and uh, illusionary, a uh, textured stamp as well. Um, is that the first time? First time we've had this on. The the uh, brand new, both of them, brand spanking new. I love that. I love that. Uh, we do have a lot. We do have a, we do have a lot on. So what can you use wow. these for? Obviously for the uh, for the polymer clay. Polymer. 
Um, you can actually use them with Perspex as well. Oh, okay. Um, and you can use them with the friendly plastic. Okay, so how would you use them on the friendly plastic? Um, if you heat it up, yeah. then it will basically accept so any texture, push, it, text, in. Yeah, push, push it, it in. Yeah. Because it's not sticky, is it? That's what surprised no. me. The, the, yeah, the plastic isn't sticky, so you can uh, pop those in there. Uh, these are brand spanking new stamps on those. I love those effects. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous effects. Um, brand spanking new for both of these. Your uh, Lisa Bavelka love letter textured stamp. And we're doing them for less than five pounds a stamp. Introductory price on that. Oh. <laughs> can you save sir? Can you save some glue? Can you save a? Uh, can you save a maple leaf, carved maple leaf, and some stamps for Debs, please? Um, eight, eight pounds twenty-five. Oh uh, stamp your authority. Um, lots of people coming in on this. I'm not surprised. I'm absolutely not surprised. Um, if you need to know how to use this, where, where would they look for under the tutorial? If you look for um, polymer clay or if you look for Lisa Pavelka Lisa stamps, Pavelka stamps. You'll get all okay. sorts coming up. Yeah. So Lisa Pavelka stamps, uh, you'll see a lot coming up on YouTube. So see a lot of options on those. Um, £8.95. Uh, Corinne in Norfolk, uh, need those. Mm. Need those. Uh, great show, uh, Drew equals double D trouble. Deb and Drew equals double D <laughs> travel. Triple D travel. Denny's, Triple, yeah. Denny's here as well. Don't forget Denny. He's like the Denny Dyer of... Uh, he, um, he's big in the trouble states, well. <laughs> isn't he? Danny. Um, yeah, so, uh, and also we, we, did have the, uh, we did have the slide up for the heat gun as well. So, because uh, you will need to heat these up. We'll need to heat these up. Okay. Um, so this is a bit noisy. The newer heat gun's quieter than this. If I put it on low, it won't be too bad. Um, right, you need to be careful because you've got all of your squares cut. Yeah. You don't want to put your heat gun too close and just blow them all over okay. the, the place. So what I did was once I'd worked out the order, was just heat up almost like the gap in between okay. the squares and just hold... Um, each piece down as yep. you're heating it. So you just need to heat the edges really and then when you push them together it's tricky working here and not on my own table. When you push them together they stick. Oh my goodness it's that quick. So it's really quick and then all I did was work along the row so heat in now this edge here yeah. but this this square is also being heated because the heat's yeah. obviously yeah. traveling and then line it up and push it and that should be stuck so then come back here work on this so I can now push that one up that's stuck heat these edges here yeah that's stuck so at the moment it's almost like if you if you're sewing yeah and you're just tacking them together yeah 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 so this isn't like the final right okay stitch yeah. as it were yeah this is just holding them together so that you can then um work on top of it and right, it's not okay. going to move it all over the place so get that one in place so if some of them aren't actually sticking um it's not a massive, massive problem at this stage. Yeah. So that's because you're going to be we're gonna squashing be them and yeah, yeah, yeah. Just push that down. Right. There we go. So now I'm going to work along this way. And you Obviously, you do need to do this on a heat map. Heat just, map. Um, yeah. Yeah. So don't, don't do it on the dining room table. And not on a foam. <laughs> Not on a what? Not on a phone. On a like, phone? I thought you said on a phone. Don't, don't <laughs> do it on your phone. No. Uh, I don't you think could decorate your phone, couldn't you? <laughs> you think you could? Well, no, I'm not going to no, try I wouldn't, it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Although my phone's hopeless. The battery dies in about well, yeah, 20 seconds. Yeah, well, it'd be even seconds. more hopeless if you started doing this on it. True. But it'd be a good, good excuse to get a new one, then. <laughs> 
So you can see the. I can't believe how quick it is. You can see the surface of the yeah. um, plastic actually changing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know when it's hot and soft because it sort of it crinkles up. So I'm just gonna. Oops, knock one off the end. Change hands. So they're, they're really um, interesting as well because some of the sheets, when you look at it um, before you heat it, yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't necessarily get the pattern coming through right, okay. and the, the colours come out a lot more once it's Yeah, it's interesting because it heated. sort of ripples up, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So right, while you're doing that, yeah. I have some... Uh, I, I'm well, I'm intrigued with these. What, what do you do? We've got lots to get through, so I'm going to keep bringing you pieces uh, throughout the demonstration today. Um, why, what are these for? Why those, um, the pellets you can actually heat, so you could heat them into a mould and they'll sort of melt into your, your oh, okay. moulding effect, okay. so it, it takes a really strong impression. Right, right, right. Um, you can add them on top as well, I think, so into to make texture. Right, okay. Um, so they work. So almost like what you've done with these, you could squash, yeah. if you squash them into... Uh, melt them into the holes and things. Melt them into the holes and things, you get that, that sort of effect in there. Um, 125 grams of your friendly plastic uh, pellets. So for those little, uh, little added extras to your pieces, there's, uh, um, I mean 125 grams, there's a lot. There's a lot in there, 125 grams worth, 14 pounds and 95 pence. Uh, works obviously along with the friendly plastic, which is uh, what we're working on here. Okay, I'm gonna keep. I love that, when you ripple it up, it really just, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Like you, so I see what you mean. It's almost, uh, um, it almost comes to life again, doesn't it? It does. Now, at this point, um, it doesn't matter if you get a fingerprint or two in it because no. the other th when we wrap it round the jam jar to shape it that'll all come out yeah so um, it's um, it's absolutely easy to work with yeah just make sure that if you are touching it with your fingers you've put either um, some clay balm so like the, the stuff you get for the silver clay okay or um, petroleum jelly or something like that on your okay, fingers yep. just to make sure you don't stick um, but it doesn't get mega hot unless you overheat it yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. you yep. can see that you've done that anyway can I just say so as well I've no, the, um, there's no odour if no. you're worried about um, uh, smells there is absolutely zero no. odour coming off there isn't there Yeah. normally you'd think with normal plastic that's why I think the plastic I don't know if friendly plastic is the best name for it because it's no, sort of, it, it conjures up sort of bad images. But this is obviously, this has been designed specifically for this medium. So as, um, as Devs is using this here, I can't smell anything. There's right. no smoke coming off this. It is literally just heating up and you're, and you're popping it in. So uh, it obviously has a very, very, very high melting point at which point it starts um, um, giving us smoke. You never get to that point. You never get to that point. Uh, if you do it in a water bath, um, the water bath only has to be as hot. Um, I think what I saw on the meeting was that um, if you, you can hold your ha hold your you finger in the water for a second. In. Yeah. If you can hold your finger in the water for a second, you're all right. Uh, if you can't put your finger in the water, if it's that hot, you can't put your finger in the water, then it's a bit too hot. So it doesn't take a lot of heat to uh, uh, to make this easy to use. This. It's about 60 to 70 degrees, I think, yeah, maximum yep, yep. on your water. So yeah, it doesn't need to be sort of boiling or anything that's too hot so right if I stop there and then what I did after that so we'll get rid of those bits it'll be a small bangle um, <laughs> <laughs> what I did after that was leave it to cool down um, my hair's falling out again right leave it to cool down a Give bit uh, no. yeah <laughs> it's curly <laughs> Um, and you can see that it's um, Let's it's get have a still drink of water. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it's it's really warm 
um, because it's it's bending so it's nice and soft and malleable and it's bending so that's the sort of um, yep. uh, consistency that we want for when we bend it around our jam jar um, so all the little bits and pieces that you've sort of collected are then the bits that I used um, to put additional stripes yep. and so break these are up the boxiness of it. These are the bits that we're talking about here. So um, I, w I actually wanted them to come over the edge of the bracelet. If you don't like the, the sort of edge to be that rough, you can yep. trim it down yeah, afterwards. Yep. Yep. You don't need to, to keep it that, um, that sort of free form. So just cutting off little strips. Right, so while we're getting all that, uh, while we're getting all those on, I'm, okay. I'm going to show you some extra uh, piece. If you've already used this, uh, the what, sorry, the <laughs> red, blue, pink, purple. I'm assuming that's Ooh, the one there. that's nice. And deep rose. You've got here, oh, oh uh, do you know what? We nearly lost 125 grams of white balls all over the table then. Uh, so uh, we've got a little selection of colours to bring you as well. So if you, if you like your friendly plastic, uh, this is one of three, is it? One of three that we can bring you? One of three that we can bring you. Um, so this is uh, five of these individual strips. Uh, purple, pink, red, deep rose and African violet. Uh, isn't that a flower? African violet. It is. Um, and yeah. uh, in your strips, in your strips here. So uh, we are going to keep you going with everything you need one pound 59 a strip it is incredibly affordable forgiving it is a gem it is a an absolute gem of a medium to use if you want to put this alongside your gemstones as well 795 for extra colors on there and once you get started once you get yeah. started you are going to wish that you've got as many colors as you could get because you put all these together you know, you can join the you, you can join these you together. Can join you them can, up. Yeah, yeah, you can join the. I mean, like we've seen here, this is this is this is one. No, sorry, two strips, isn't it? Uh, that uh, we joined together, the gold and the and the stripe. I wasn't think it? it was about three of or four of the strips, but bits of mm. all oh. of them. So I've got. So you can put different colours. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and yeah. You can join them um, up. And I mean, what was it? One pound fifty? Was it, Denny? One fifty nine a strip. One pound fifty nine a strip. And once you get it, I mean, yeah. the hair, you know, you've, you've got the, the, the hair dryer. You can, it's not a hair dryer, is it? <laughs> That's not going to work. And is it not, would it not work? No. no. It won't get hot enough. Oh, and, okay. And don't okay. use this on your hair. Right. Don't use that on your hair. <laughs> um, and uh, don't use a hair dryer. Yeah, don't get confused. Don't use a hair dryer. It looks like a hair dryer, doesn't it? Does. it? You know, it's a heat gun. Heat right? gun. It's a heat gun. Uh, you might have one, because, yeah, you know, with the old paint stripping and all that, that, that you do, it's the same sort of thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, um, uh, the heat gun, I think it's 14.95, isn't it, the heat gun? Um, £7.95 for the strips. We want to add these two. Um, African violet, deep rose, uh, mauve, uh, the pink and the purple and the red. While we're down, going to do the other uh, selection for you as well. Uh, did you say Spanish copper? Ooh. Spanish copper? Why Spanish copper, do you think? I don't know. Spanish copper. So we have uh, Spanish <laughs> copper, metallic red. Right, so there's your metallic red. Okay, we have, uh, we have your gold. We have your gold, which is uh, that one there, we think. Gold spectra. Which is probably that one there with the two different. Instead of Phil. Yeah, instead of Phil. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> they, they haven't heard a Phil <laughs> Spectre in there. That would have been. And then you've got your uh, you got your citrus and your sherbet, which are those ones there. So all those together. That metallic finish doesn't have to remain metallic. Remember, that's no. what we, that's what we're showing you here. Um, seven thousand. In fact, if you look at that shine there, I don't know if we can have a quick look at the overhead camera. But this is once you start heating it, 
So you, you get that um, almost like a polished sort of, uh, yeah. um, uh, like a brush. Ooh, that's a wiggly uh, one. A brush sort of finish to, um, on that. But um, £7.95 for those extra ones there as well. Um, very popular, very popular with the different colours on there. By the way, don't forget, tools coming up 20 minutes, 20 minutes time. Um, 20 minutes time for the tools. And for the first time ever by itself, we have got, we've got the, uh, uh, the round nose, uh, the... Uh, the nylon jaw pliers on those. Uh, we've been asked to do those as a single piece. Uh, we've got a uh, bezel mandrel for you as well, and we've got the um, Sculpey, is it Sculpey clay, polymer clay carving tools as well. Yep. So uh, 2.30 is tool time. <laughs> right, I'm going to um, stop adding these now, because I want to show you. Well, what are we going to say then? I'm yeah. going to uh, I'm stop gonna just asking to work <laughs> with you. Um. <laughs> Thing imagey. <laughs> What's the face? <laughs> <laughs> because then I can show you how I did the pink one as well, because that's manipulating yep. the texture yep. and stuff on, on the pink one and the surface. Um, so we've got a, a few added in here. And then if you notice, I'm actually working on a strip of um, the sheet yep heat, heat proof sheet stuff yeah um and the, re <laughs> the reason <laughs> between yeah, us we'll both technical <laughs> between us we'll both forget it yeah what's the stuff G? called the brown sheet stuff thingy heat proof paper is it no one knows what it's called <laughs> it's it's like a silicon i yeah, nearly we'll said we'll trade move on. trade we'll move on there. we'll move on um it's a sheet, uh, heat yeah. proof sheet anyway so if you work on that <laughs> When you set up your squares initially, I'm going to just plow on. Yeah, plow just plow on, on regardless. Just, just, well, um, just then, then it means you're not having to move <laughs> everything off and on different surfaces. It's all on one Teflon strip, shape. and you don't have to worry yeah. about moving things around. Um, now that's th my handy tool for making bangles. It's a pasta sauce. Bite some olives. Oh, pasta sauce, was it? Yeah, it was, yeah. 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 No, no, For when it? I make pizzas. Oh, okay. Mm. I'm bringing you those um, in, do you? I don't, know. Yeah. They don't last long. <laughs> um, so, oh, before I heat it up again, I'll whip it off and then you can see that it's joined oh, wow. together. Okay. okay. So it's tacked, but it's got holes in it. Yeah. So. so I don't know if you can see through and see the holes. Um, uh, do we have something? Yeah, put that behind it. Put that behind it. I'm not going to see the white. If I put it that turn way. It around, turn it around again. There. There we go. So, so we've got holes. So, little, so don't and worry gaps. about that. Yeah. That's fine. Because what you're going to do, pop it back on your sheet and then heat it up. So if I just heat it on the higher setting for a minute and just work all over the surface. Um, because now we want them all to basically soften yep. to the same consistency and point. Yeah. So you can see if they're not, you can see where this one's sitting up from the, the surface yep. of the mat. When you heat it, they slump. Okay. So that's now soft. And if you want to check if it's soft, across the whole sheet if you just pick it up and then be careful you don't touch that um, it's now soft you've right, got no okay. sort of points where it's actually still solid and how long so do you get to work on it before it goes hard again oh you'll get two or three minutes probably okay, okay. plenty of time um, so what I did was flip it over onto my mat yep. and then just smooth it down with my fingers and that what the, that will do is move the the plastic a bit you can use your jam jar as a rolling pin yeah and just sort of almost roll over the the back of it to make sure that all of your squares are now joining up yeah so you can see that the the gaps are starting to close up close and if there's a patch that's not um, that's not filling up in quite how you want it so enough yeah then peel it off and you can see that's still a bit too soft there to peel off really 
but we'll go for it and wreck it. If it if it sticks to your mat, yeah. if you just wait um, okay. for a couple of minutes, yeah. it will cool down enough. See what I mean about forgiving, right? Can I just that is a perfect example of mm. how forgiving this means and that's what I love about it is you know we've gone to pull that off and it's got caught in the end, you've got a few crimples in it. You've just put it back down and just smoothed it all up yeah. again, haven't you? Yeah. Obviously, we wouldn't have done that so quickly if you, you know, but for the no. purpose of the demonstration, we want to get as much done as we can. So, so I'm gonna just. I can't. Uh, it ease really it up. does stay malleable for a while, doesn't it? It does. It. it um, I mean, that's still warm. You yeah, can yeah, feel yeah. That it's still yeah. warm, and it's still flexible yeah, 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 at the yeah. minute. And I've obviously heated this end more yeah. than this yeah. end. Um, but I've still got quite a big hole in, in my sheet here. So what I'm going to do, pop it down, and then some of the um, sections that we cut, little pieces that we yeah. cut before, if I just heat around the gap there, I can stick this on at the okay. back. So if I stick it foil side down, that will then fill in the gap. Okay. So make sure it's soft and stuck down properly. And then I can just roll it. And that'll push it through to the end. Push it through. Let's see if it's stuck that way now. And that's filled up the gap. Right, okay. So I've now got solid bangle, but it's it's not obvious where that Again, hole was. Forgiving. Forgiving, yeah. forgiving, forgiving, forgiving is the name of this, isn't it? The yeah. wonder it's called friendly plastic. Friendly, it is, it's dead friendly. Uh, can I just say for the whole kit as well, £24.95, we should be around the £40 mark, £24.95, um, amazing. Um, we've got some extra strands of abalone here for you as well, so if you like, um, this is three different rectangle strands in the abalone uh, that we've got. Um, we've got lots of people texting in loving the abalone, so uh, we've got these little beauties for you. Uh, we've only got 27 of these though, only 27 of these, so uh, you will have to be quick on these. Uh, these are your flat rectangles 12 by 8, uh, your flat rec rectangles 8 by 6, and your flat squares um, 8 by 6 on there as well. So again, the colour, it's such a beautiful colour, isn't it? It is, it is. And that um, friendly plastic bundle that you did first, yeah. the colours yeah. would work brilliantly with it. Yeah, Actually, yeah. all yeah. of them would. But how are the, um, how are the friendly plastic bundles there. going? Are they, have we got... One is one is sold out. The other one is still going at the moment. Um, so if you want extra uh, friendly plastic, you have to be mm. quick because one of those is already sold out. Uh, the three strands of abalone here. Again, you get a lot in a strand as well. Um, ridiculously good price uh, we can do for these. Uh, we're going to do the three strands. One price, one price only. Straight down. Not even six pounds ninety-five. That's good. Uh, Agent forty-seven, can you get some of this for dibs, please? Uh, Eighteen pounds really and ninety-five pence. That is really, really good. I mean, if you break yeah. it down to the individual strands and the number of pieces you are getting here: two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. 26, 28, 30. So if we say if we say 90 um, over these, you know, you you add that up. The price per individual, and these are accents. You know, can use these as yeah. full strands. These are like individual accents. These are yeah. these are one one drop. And they're gorgeous sizes as it's, well. I mean, it's like 21 pence or something. 21 pence each. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Absolutely. I mean, you can make a pair of earrings for less than 50p. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. Wow. These are, f we've only got 27 of these. Only got 27. Um, so, uh, well done, well done if you're coming in and grabbing them there. Uh, Patricia, Beverly, uh, Pamela, um, you've got Tina, Diana, uh, I've got Amanda, Bet, Jane, Cindy, Isabel, uh, Lynn, Julie, Susan, Sarah, um, Jenny there as well. Um, lots of people coming in. These will sell out. These will, the way these are going, these will sell out. £18.95 for the three. For the three. Uh, right, I've got one more and then I won't annoy you any more. <laughs> any more, there's one more little sell. Okay. By the way, don't forget coming up tall warm. time.
tall type, but just <laughs> just keep the tall type. Stick out the middle. 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 You don't want to know what she's doing with the polymer clay. Uh, right, so the tall kids coming up at 2.30. And we've got these wonderful jump rings here. 20 individual jump rings. Uh, gold plated copper fancy flat round jump rings. <laughs> Right, I'm going to try and do, try and do the Olympic sign. Oh. Not, I haven't got enough fingers. Tricky. It's not going to happen. It's, oh, oh, tricky. 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 Um, You're not allowed to use 20 it. Twenty pieces, aren't Nobody, you? No. So you oh, okay. shouldn't really do it. Okay, I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. No. I won't. There we go. I'll do. I'll do. <laughs> I'll do. I'll do a mouse instead. Yeah. Um, Six ninety-five. So these are your fancy flat round jump rings. These are, are quite good size. These twenty. Uh, 20 millimetres, I think uh, chainmail enthusiasts are going to be after these, uh, 20 millimetre and 20 pieces in those, very ornate, very ornate, again if you're going to have a necklace, you know as a central joining piece for a yeah. necklace coming in either side and then having a little drop down, a uh, perfect, perfect little toggle piece there, £6.95 on that, 20, interval p uh, 20 pieces of those. So again, great price, great price. Right, Debs. Okay. We kept it warm. Kept it warm. Yeah. <laughs> it's happy and warm and dead flexible all the way along. Um, I've put one of the ends of what will be the cuff right up onto the end of that sheet so that okay. when I wrap it round, I know that's, that's where I need to be finishing. Um, and also, it's black side up yep. so that when I wrap it round the jar okay. to form it, the the black will be on the inside of the cuff. Okay. If you do it the other way, you'll end up with a black cuff and the colours <laughs> inside, which isn't really what we're aiming for. So just roll it. So I've started with the end yep. there. Just roll the jam jar and then just smooth it down with your fingers and you can either um, just hold it yeah. which is what I did for a couple of minutes yeah. just like that or if you let go it's cooled down enough to peel the sheet off okay. and that's just stuck on there now leave it what I did before I wrapped it on, and I forgot to say, you is you always decorate the jars like that. You could. Have you been could. <laughs> I was thinking that it'd be, It'd be a great way to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recycle your 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 glass. Um, well, you do the so um, the napkin holders as well, couldn't you? Do, do like yeah, like serviette rings. As well with those, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so serviette rings. That's what they're called. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't poo pooing. I was, you know. <laughs> right, I was agreeing. Yeah, that's all right then. <laughs> what what um, what I actually did with the the bracelet yep. that I made was I I wanted to have really sharp ends on yep. the, this one, so I when I wrapped it round the jar, I pushed the two ends together because it was a bit longer than this one is, and they stuck. And then once it had cooled down, I okay. just snipped it. So can you use normal scissors for this? You as can. Well? Yeah. yeah, you can. They need to be more like, um, like a kitchen. A, a bit more substantial. Yeah, yeah. kitchen scissors. Yeah. So that's what I was saying. If you want to, you can just go down and trim yeah, yeah, yeah. the edge. Yeah. So if you do it while it's still a bit warm, it's a little bit more plastic. Yeah. It's yeah. slightly easier to cut through as well. Um, and then uh, finally, what I did was I wanted to make sure they were really. Um, tight cuffs yep. and not sort of springing open like this. But if you've got a bigger wrist, then they'll fit yeah, yeah, yeah. anyway. Yeah. Um, so what I did was I just rolled them up when they were warm and popped an elastic band around them. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then it's set into yep. position. Um, when you take the elastic band off, they don't spring open. Yeah totally yeah, yeah yeah so they're nice and tight on the wrist yeah. then so that's that's what i did um that there. was awesome i love that effect the other thing that i did when it was on the jam jar was just use my fingers to burnish the okay. foil because it's like it's a foil on top of a plastic so if you rub the um the foil it smooths it down 
I dare say you could use your agate yeah, burnisher yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah. just to polish it up and get a really high shine on it. Um, or if you wanted to buff it off, even a very, very fine sort of sandpaper or something, a little, a little, little, you wouldn't do it too much, obviously, because no, you're through, to the black. through to the black. Yeah, but, but just a very slight sort of yeah, buff on it. Yeah, the other thing that I did for the pink bracelet to get all the textures and, and something a bit more um, sort of a, a low shine on it and, and less and, and a bit more texture as well was to use foil. Um, so aluminium foil to actually, instead of my, my silicon sheet, okay. to wrap that around because then that gives the texture of the foil yeah, yeah. so it looks more metallic. Um, but I also put alcohol inks onto the, the sheet. And it always, and always comes back to, uh, I, I used a bit of alcohol in this. Yeah, <laughs> just a bit. <laughs> and I scratched <coughs> up the surface. Okay on the on the um, sheet so the the inks then s sink into the okay the um, the sheet a bit so you can draw on it I did a little drawing in the other kit of um, uh, some birds on the beach just I don't know what they were seagulls or something so scratch it up like that and then taking your alcohol ink you just um, Um, can Cover you wrap up. friendly plastic around a cabochon? Someone's asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah you could. Yeah. yeah, definitely. So you could make, and then you, you can, can make basically a bezel. make a bezel surround. Yeah. Yeah. It is. When I said uh, I, n I knew nothing about this medium before we uh, uh, be uh, before yesterday, but I did a bit of research last night. Go on and have a look yourself. And and it just it just I mean already we've gone to to serviette holders. Um, you know, you can do rings on this. Yeah. You can you yeah. can um, use it uh, to decorate your jars. Um, it's you know, obviously with your parents nearby, do it with do it with your kids. It's a great yeah. medium to uh, to play with uh, with the kids as well. Um, and there's just so many different layers, isn't there? There's so many different skill yeah. sets you can use. Um, you it's incredible, and, and just these are things that are that are just coming to us right now. You know, a, a bezel sitting around a, uh, um, a around around a particular cabochon or something. Yep. Amazing. Use Door it in plaques, line. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, any anything really. You could you could do a really funky house number. Couldn't yeah, you? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'd be quite cool. Um, so you can paint on it with your alcohol inks. Okay. It then dries. So okay. leave it. Make sure it's it's completely dried. And then um, you can heat it, and it doesn't. Nothing moves. It stays. Your design okay. will stay okay. where you've you've put it. Um, and just heating along the edge. You know how we did with lots of the squares. Yeah. Just heat down the edge, um, and then stick the other strip on yep. here. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing that I did um, with this bangle is I used a hole punch. Okay. Um, to make holes down the yep. the strip, yep. and then fill them with another colour. With another, yep. Just pushing it through from yeah, the back, yep, like yep. we did with the holes. So you don't in have the to cut bangle. something round. Just no. Near hole, punch it out, and then fill it from the back. So right. you get a nice, clean circle coming through. Um, and of course, all the little bits that yeah. punch out as well, you know, don't yeah. throw them away. Well, I've every everything you can use. I reapplied them on the pink uh, side. Yeah, I, you know, that's, yeah, so because you can cut so out from one and put it, and put it yeah. on the other side. So yeah, it yeah. crosses yeah. over yeah. then and you, you don't waste it. And Could you have the black, if you if you say cut out one side, Yeah. could you turn it around and have the black coming through? Would yep. that work? You can yeah. see, so you the black is a colour, usable colour as yes. well, yeah? Yeah. Right, okay. And, and um, I used the black element on the second kit you'll see yeah. that I've I've pushed um, the friendly plastic into a okay. mold and the foils then cracked so right, you get right. almost like um, uh, like paint techniques from the 1980s yeah, 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 where you get yeah. the crackle finish and antique yeah, yeah, finish yeah, you get yeah. that sort of look with it I mean I just even you can actually see uh, see almost like your well I think they are your fingerprints in here as well can't you yep. and, and even that just gives you a texture doesn't it at the yeah, end yeah some fingerprints and if you don't want it then you just smooth it out yep. 
so easy to and use. So, I mean, it's a fantastic. If, I, if you're like me, I must admit my first impression, friendly plastic, I don't think the name does it justice. Yeah. Uh, the kit is there to get you started, 24 pounds and 95 pence. You've got the, uh, you've got the abalone, uh, you've got two strands of abalone with there, um, and you've got the seven strips of the friendly plastic as well in there, 24 pounds and 95 pence. Um, tall showcase and the sterling silver chain is just around the corner. Uh, round of applause for Debs. Every, whenever I do this, there's only, there's only two of us ever in there. So, but yeah, loving your work, <laughs> Debs, as usual. Don't go anywhere, lots more coming up. Join guest designer Liz Welsh as she guides you through how to make beads using friendly plastic. Liz will teach you how to make an array of different shapes and patterns, including round beads, wrapped and tubular beads. This DVD is packed full of inspiration and helpful hints and tips. So, to get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. The fastest way to shop with Jewelry Maker is by going to our website. Just click on the sign up button. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the Watch Live button on the front page. You can also use our Refine tool and narrow down your search. Once you've found an item that you like, just simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day and still only pay one p and Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know you can purchase incredible jewellery featuring genuine gemstones on our sister channel Gems? Come along and see what treasures you can find. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Get involved with Jewelry Maker by sending the studio a message during our live hours. You can send a text to 60777 and start your message with JM Studio or alternatively go to our website and click on watch the live show, simply type your message into the box and press send. Make sure you stay tuned in case your message is read out. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. You can now keep in touch by following Jewelry Maker on Twitter. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, we are happy to announce that our studio store is now open. If you attend any of our courses, you can now browse through special items, get exclusive discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Become an exclusive customer at the studio store. For more information on available courses and dates, please contact our call center. The new studio store. The experience just got better. If you miss a Jewelry Maker show, then simply go to our YouTube page where you'll be able to find hours of Jewelry Maker footage. Search by show, date or type. Alternatively, search by guest designer by using our playlist page. You can also find hours of tutorials with handy hints and tips to give you inspiration. Our YouTube page is updated on a daily basis so you can access any show at any time. Stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. And then Deb said she could pick any presenter, but she picked me. Oh, hi, uh, welcome back to uh, Design Inspiration. Uh, with, <laughs> with myself, Drew Nichols, self-proclaimed golden wonder from down under, and the lovely and always effervescent, yes, like a fruity soft drink, it is De Bruges. Fruity soft drink. Do you like that? Mm. Yeah? A fruit, or would you be a, a, a fruity cocktail? Oh, definitely a cocktail, definitely, yeah. Definitely, yeah. Hmm. Uh, uh, if you could be a cocktail, what would you be? <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> I could get into so much trouble. <laughs> Do you know what? I no. know, oh, because the first one that came to my head, I thought, no, I'm not going to go there right now. <laughs> uh, right, so, uh, you'd be a what? A Moscow mule? Do you know what? What's that, Danny? Do you know what? Is that Danny? <laughs> 
That was bad. Uh, a Moscow. That's got to have vodka in it, isn't it? He doesn't know. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but I'd just be one of those. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know if, uh, if being a mule is a good thing to uh, aspire to. Right, no. um, uh, I've got the most amazing half hour. Are you ready? If you stay with us for half an hour, make it this half hour. It is tall time, but I'm also going to give you a bit of a heads up. It's coming up in this half hour is our eight sets of chains. If you're making pendants, and you want a 925 sterling silver chain, I have got an opportunity for you here. These are less, these are going to be less than four pounds each. Your mission is to try and find sterling silver chains for under four pounds. There we go. It's like a musical instrument. That could be your stock warning for 50% stock warning. or whatever. Or was it, a, I can't remember, was it like um, a that water was a, bottle? No, that was that was one. That 50? It? Yeah. There was one you were missing. Phil, Phil's gone. Phil was there. Phil was there when we, when we created <laughs> the stock warning plastic bottle hooter. <laughs> he wouldn't think we got loads of sound effects and stuff. You know, yeah. You know, anyway. No. Uh, anyway, we've got... An incredible selection of tools okay we've got some really really exciting pieces to bring you this is our tool showcase and uh, this the, um, uh, that's the half half stock gone hooter it can't be the tool showcase hooter. No, it can't. Um, I'm gonna start off where have I put them oh can I have the oh. um, can I have those please uh, yeah, send a message to uh, uh, send, a, send a message to who you need to send a message to. I need a hooter. Uh, these are these have never been on, never been on as a single item, never been on a single item. Uh, now dibs, nylon jaw, round nose pliers. I'm assuming these are very protecting of the piece that you've created. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So if you. Working in um, your coloured wires, particularly your coated yep. wires, um, they protect the coating so it doesn't scratch. Right. So you're less likely to damage your wire using those than your normal metal round nose pliers. Yep, yep. Um, and also with those, they've got a really nice taper on them so they're not too bulky. Okay. To get in and, and be into, able to into use the, them into, still. The, little, into yeah. the little fiddly areas in there. Um, so again, of course, if you're, if you're holding gemstones, if you're holding the, the beads that, that you're creating, uh, but I think that is a great point with the coloured copper wire. Um, very, 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 very particular. Um, we have an incredible high standard when it comes to choosing the tools that we use, that we bring to you. Uh, these are nylon jaw round nose pliers and they are sturdy, they are incredibly practical and usable, which sounds a bit ridiculous, but they are not, it's not always the case. It's not always the case. Mm. We, uh, we go through our tools, we study our tools, we uh, get feedback on our tools from professionals, from the professional designers that you see here. You know, they use the tools that we give them as well. And you've got people, same-minded people, that use these day in, day out. They are good, good quality, which is incredibly surprising when you think of the price that we can bring these to you yeah. for. But yeah. that's the beauty about buying in bulk, isn't it? Um, you know, this, 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 these are for you. We buy these in bulk for you. You know, these are not um, a massive money maker for us. Um, it's all about giving you the tools. If we don't give you the tools, you're not going to buy the materials, basically, is, is, is how it goes. So, nylon jaw, round nose pliers here. Um, great quality, sprung loaded, sprung loaded on these. Um, we've got a ridiculous price for you. We're Ridiculous price. Now I asked, I put my foot down, I said, I want, to, if I'm going to do a nine hour presenting day, I want you to give me something spectacular. He said, how about a tool show? I said, brilliant. 
have we got anything that they've not seen before? I said, well, we've seen these before. I said, have we done them separately? I was firing questions at Danny. <laughs> I said, have we done them separately? We, well, no, we don't do them separately. I want to do them separately. He said, you can't do them separately. Because if we do them separately, I'm going to have to go below the £6.95 threshold. I said destroy the £6.95 threshold today, Danny. And that's what he did. <laughs> £4.95. We had to go to the top. To the very tippity, tippity, top, top, top. £4.95. And the best thing is, the only person that's going to get into trouble over this is Danny. <laughs> None of us here. So, four, £4.95 for your nylon jaw uh, round nose pliers. So usable, and for that sort of price as well. This is this is the sort of this is the sort of thing that you that that you'll think. I you know I I I don't need these. You know I don't need these. I don't you know I'm, I'm not requiring these. Yeah. But then when you do some of your copper coloured uh, wiring skills, and you get a little bit of a scratch, or maybe on a piece of um, a piece of artwork that you've been working on, get a bit of a scratch. Do you want to do a quick? Do you want to have a quick go with these? Yeah. Debs, while you're over there with your. Look, Look, with your wire and, and your everything else that yeah. you need. Uh, do you want me to go over there as well? Or shall I stay here and watch? Oh, I'm just staying here and watch. I'm not even required. Four pounds ninety-five. Look, I'm defunct. I've made myself gonna... not usable in this cell. You could have another sandwich. Uh, I could. I do need another sandwich. Don't tell me that I'm having sandwiches in the break, <laughs> Debs. That's a. That's like a, a secret. Look, I've got. Do you know what? Got I've got. I've got. There. I've got chips. Right, I, I, I had a banana. I've eaten my banana. I've got chocolate in here. Um, I've got an energy drink. I've got another energy drink. I haven't had either of those. I don't need them with these prices. Um, and I've also got uh, an apple <laughs> and a couple of a couple of. Oh, anyway, over. Um, uh, more for me. We're going over to Debs in the uh, tool demonstration yeah, department. Oh, I like having a department there a demonstration. There you go. There you go. You don't pick up your parts, That's Debs. Quite nice. We're not staying there for too long. All right. Um. <laughs> Uh, your wires. show now, Dibs. Your show. Over there to you me. Go. Over to you. Okay. Made a, a nice big loop on the end. And I'm just going to make a big loop on the bottom as well. But they're um, they're really nice little pliers, actually, for working with. They're, they're comfortable to use. They're a bit non-slip, aren't they, as well? They like, are. Because um, so, you're going to, yeah. um, uh, you know, they're, they're going to grab, the actually, soft, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, malleable, almost. Uh, uh, yeah. It's going gonna, gonna to push in and... Yeah. It's uh, but very protective. Nice. Never been sold on their own. Uh, thanks, guys. Been after these for ages. Loving the show this afternoon, says Alison. Oh, she works here. That doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> if Alison's getting them, it's essential. For Hi, Alison. <laughs> Alison, mine was true. Good song there, Elvis Costello. I bet she gets that all the time, doesn't she? <laughs> Danny, Danny sang that to her the other day, and uh, uh, she said, you've been hanging around with Drew. Um, <laughs> I love that. I bet she gets that all the time. No one here's yeah. heard of that song. Haven't they? They must uh, have done. It's a classic. How depressing is this? Danny's just got I have, but only because my dad sings it. Oh, <laughs> how rude. Yeah, do you know what? I am old enough to be Danny's father, <laughs> you, know, you know. I might be. Uh, Four pounds ninety-five. <laughs> it's just a rumor. <laughs> it was just. It was just a rumor. It was just a rumor. Uh, uh, Four pounds ninety-five. I suppose you want these back, uh, don't you? Now. Yeah, I do want those back. Yeah. Want them back? Want them back? Hand them want back to Drew. You finished oh, with those? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Can we come back from the tool department? Thank sorry. you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Four pounds ninety-five. <laughs> I'm just thinking Star Wars now, Danny. I am your father. <laughs> Do you know what? I've taught Charlie, my little boy's two years old. I've taught Charlie that, Danny. I go, Charlie, I am your father. He goes, No! <laughs> is genius. I'll record it for you. I'll record it for you. All right. Um, so there we go. Now, next tool. Next tool. It's tool time. Tool time. Polymer clay. Do you know what? I like these. I like, I like these. these. I like these purely because of the way they're displayed. It's like you know, if if you walk up uh, to a, um, a, if if you're in a uh, um, if you're selling in your shop in your stand, you know, someone goes, um, "What do you use for yeah. these?" You go, "My uh, kits here. <laughs> I've got all my pieces here. It's almost it, it incredibly popular. And again, quality, 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 quality of these." even down to the covering of keeping your tools protected. You know, you've got them in a wrap, everything is there. 
each one of these has that weight, has that uh, different end on to give you the different shapes. Um, I've worked with you a number of times, and I mm. think you've used these on almost every, I, every single show that I've worked with you on. Yeah, I can't stop using them. I think they're just brilliant. Uh, using them on polymer, perspex. I think um, you're using these in the next kit, aren't you? Yep. I'm going to use these in the next kit, so you will, plastic, see these, yeah. uh, you will see these uh, in, uh, in the situ uh, during the next kit. So, this is 12 piece, 12 piece. Uh, now we say 12 piece, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to double check something. Um, but when you look at it, you've got, you've got 24 because you've actually yeah. got, um, you've got different ends. So you've actually got 24 different ends, and especially, you know, the polymer clay and um, like the, uh, yeah. um, like the, uh, the, the friendly plastic that we've just been using. Um, all these different shapes, all these different angles. You know, there's some very weird and wonderful ends that you can uh, uh, use. I mean, have a look at that, and. Again, you know, just sort of, uh, uh, just sort of punching and smoothing down. If we go to the other end there. You've got. I mean, it's so, it's so handy. These are so handy. And again, if you're trying to do things with, uh, uh, you know, the other end of a spoon or the yeah. or the proper end of a spoon yeah. or or a fork. Uh, yeah. You know, or, or your work. fingers. You know, if you're flattening downs with your fingers. Uh, I mean, the points intricate detailed work and even you know not even for the carving as well if you imagine with a piece such as this you know you're sitting there and you you, you know you got your glasses up you got your monocle in or you might and you're trying to get that <laughs> that little loop and you go oh, what well, I can't I can't get that loop out of that little piece of jewelry then you've got a tool such as this which you can use to pop in and just sort of almost like an unstitch you know and because you've got that length and that and that machine mill grained finish on the on on the shank of this as well it, it is usable it's a tool you're not using something that is not meant for the job no well you can use them as well with your silver clay um, yeah with, you know because some of the points on them you can move things around using it um, the uh, a couple of them have got spoon type yeah, ends. Yeah, yeah. you can use that with your mica powders to apply yeah, mica powder yeah. or glitter um, with precision to your, oh, okay. your polymer. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. They're, they're absolutely brilliant. They're actually wax carving tools because they're for um, carving little wax models, oh, okay. lost wax casting. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. If, if you've got your hands on any of that, you can yeah. carve out. Which, that, which is the way the jewellery's made. Yeah, that's how is, the jewellery's yeah. made. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you could actually carve out pieces using these. Because you can heat them up as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then carve out your wax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And send that off to get cast. Um, there are so they're, they're just brilliant. You know, th there are so many different. I mean, I love that idea of uh, where's the little spoon of of the precision of dropping the little bits of glitter in yeah. for um, um, if you're for doing just tiny yeah, sections. Yeah, or even and you don't want you know, dropping little bits of an, the enameling. Um, your what, resin, it yeah, the resin sort of uh, the dust and that. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So a, again, it's not just for carving; it's for ev you know, it's it's something. Remember, you're doing intricate, detailed jewelry work. Everything you do is intricate. It is detailed yeah. in one in one shape or form. Whether it's tying the knot, whether it's finishing off the edge, whether it's trying to thread a piece of wire in, whether it's trying to pull a bit of wire through another design, whether it's trying to thread a bit of lace through, um, whether it's, it's trying to make a hole in, an, in another piece um, to, to to bring something else through. You know, these are the tools that are going to help you out. Nine ninety five. You really, really will not regret uh, getting that as well. It's all, all in one place as well. Second tool done. Mm -hmm. uh, the mandrel. The mandrill. Uh, da, 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 I was just looking for a. Uh, do you know what? That's that's from upstairs. I was looking for a cloth. But that's a, if, that's a, if it's a. Uh, it's because Danny's been going. Oh, look at that! Look at that! It's like a, like a wand. It is. Um, now a mandrel. I always think of as as round. So why is this one okay. a sort of in the shape of a pie, I suppose? A uh, pie. Brand new to the midst oh. this. Um, it's because it gives you, um, if you use it with wire, yeah. it will give you essentially jump rings, but in that shape. So okay. say you were going to make um, some wire flowers, that's, yep. that's a brilliant shape then for the petals. So you can 
use the mandrel, wrap your wires round, and you get them consistently off. consistent consistent shapes. Yep. Yep. Um, you can also use it with. Um, do you want to have a? Do you want to have a go? Shall we hand? Shall we hand this over to the tool department? Is that all right? I think it's probably probably best if we hand that over to the tool okay. department. There we go. What you could do, actually. Tool department. Thank you. You could use this with your friendly plastic. Yeah. And use it to form shapes with your okay, plastic. Okay. Yeah. 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 And then you can um, fill in the centres. Yeah. With. Um, with some of your your other bits and pieces yeah, of yeah, friendly yeah, plastic, yeah. or use it with your resin. You can make like beads. In, like you can make little yeah, beads, couldn't you? But fill in the centres. So, if you take your wire, and then you hold with the thumb there, wrap it round. You're going to end up with a spring, in effect, of this shape. Um, you can hammer onto the mandrel because it's it's metal, so put okay, it in yeah, a vice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, hammer quality, 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 yeah. quality. It is a heavy bit of kit. It's not. You're not going to bend it. You know, it's, um, you're not going to wreck it. It's there to be used yeah. day in, day out. So we've got a spring. Whoops, got a spring there with the shape, and I can now cut these off. And use them um, as basically bezels. So if I cut at the point, I wouldn't probably cut it there to use it. I'd probably cut it on the straight and keep. But that then gives you that shape. So you can use it to yeah, um, yeah. to create. Um, can't think of bales. Right, for yeah, yeah. pendants, yeah, yeah. that would be perfect for a polymer pendant. Yeah, yeah. So use a thicker wire, and then if you hammer it as well, give it some texture. Yeah, that yeah, would be yeah. amazing. But it's it's a really nice shape. It's an unusual shape, yeah. mandrel as well. It's not something you're gonna find. It's a specialist everywhere. tool. You're gonna, it is. Yeah, it's it a is. specialist tool for a specialist job. That's what we're doing for you in the Tool Showcase with Drew and Dibs. And we're giving you amazing prices as well. Six pounds ninety-five. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, so uh, again, great size. It's basically the shape of a pie, a piece of pie. All <laughs> oh, that. Um, and you've got the size. Does it say a size on there? No, it doesn't. Uh, let me get the ruler out. Well, it's tapered. It's tapered. So I'm just going to do the biggest. Uh, we're looking at. Do you know what? Is it around a centimetre? Shows you getting old, don't we? Have to lift your glasses up. Uh, you're looking <laughs> at. About so if I go from top to bottom, you're looking at about 12 millimeters. Yeah. This is from the top of the pie to the uh, to the centre uh, to about six. Yeah, about six millimeters on the base. So that was that that was that depth there. It's so about 12 millimeters to about six millimeters on there. So good size, good size. Lots of people coming in for this. Uh, well done, well done. Uh, your bezel mandrake uh, mandrel pear shape. Um, lots of people coming in. Uh, we have uh, Sophie from Hertfordshire, uh, Drew and Deb loving uh, the show. You two are so funny. I think you'll find I'm funnier, but uh, together <laughs> we make a great team. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to refuse to work with you, you know. <laughs> never. You will never <laughs> forsake me. Not with my wand. Let me cast a spell on your dibs. <laughs> there you are. Yeah. Um, congratulations. All of that. Uh, again, that's gonna, that is... That is a substantial piece of kit. We've still got lots to get in. We're having too much fun. <laughs> We're having too much fun. Uh, right. And the last one, the last one, is it all of this? All of this. Oh, don't forget we've got the silver chain coming up. It's like the rattlesnake. The rattlesnake of jewellery maker, that is. <laughs> It'll sneak up on you and you'll miss it. Uh, right. Um, so we're getting everything here. I haven't done a beady a beady tray for uh, um, for a long time, for no, a long time. Oh, uh, Jewelry maker, uh, necklace making tray, ring sizer, bracelet board, and uh, a lava kite round as well. Eight millimeters by six millimeters. Uh, very 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 nice indeed. Oh eight hundred sixty four six double five. Uh, eight 
up to six millimeter in your lava cart rounds there. And we've got the ring sizes on there as well, or the ring sizes, uh, should I say, on there as well. Um, and we've got these. So basically, basically, is this uh, is this for someone to have on their stand? With yeah, because you, you can um, or take to a workshop if people are making rings, they don't always know what size okay. the fingers are, yeah, yeah. so they wouldn't know what size to make a ring. So if you're running a workshop, it's useful. But on a stand, obviously, when a customer comes to buy something, yeah, uh, you can measure the finger and. Or friends at home, or friends, friends at home, or friends yeah, at home yeah. you know, because it is yeah. diffi it's a difficult thing, isn't it? You know, if you make jewellery uh -huh. and people go, I don't know what size I am, ha-ha, I, I have the... I just thought of a really brilliant use for it as well. Yeah. Run up to Christmas or your birthday, just um, pop that in a little, or pop it on your partner's pillow or something, just with a, a little ribbon tied oh, yeah, on yeah. which ring size <laughs> you're, you're wanting. Subtle. <laughs> Subtle, <laughs> subtle divs. <laughs> Leave a ring resizer in your size on yeah. the pillow. Gets your message Do you know what? Off. If I did that, to, if, I, if Lucy did that to me, I'd buy her a monocle. I, said, I thought that's what you wanted. Yeah, a monocle in that size. <laughs> Right, so you get the ring resizer. You also get the uh, lava kite beads there as well. So you've got the lava kite beads there as well. Uh, and, uh, and you've got the bead tray. Um, glorious, glorious bead tray. So basically the beads uh, sit in there. Uh, and uh, you get the cloth as well. Look at that. Should be at 12 cents, which is a great price anyway. At 12 cent of that, we're going to bring that price down even lower. Oh, so this as well. Sorry, I've forgotten this. We've forgotten the whole train <laughs> and, the, and that as well, and the bracelet tray as well. Do you know what? Do you know what? Eight pounds ninety-five. Eight pounds ninety-five. I did tell you it was going to be a fantastic tool section. Um, we're coming to the end. Uh, coming to the end of the tool section. Uh, jewelry maker essentials, uh, including necklace making tray, ring size, bracelet board, and lava count rounds, uh, eight by six millimeters. We've got loads of people coming in. Uh, we've got uh, uh, Maureen, Erica, Eileen. Um, we've got uh, Belinda, Sandra. It's very hard because it keeps changing. So many of you coming in. Debbie, Claire, Tanya, uh, anonymous Vision learner, Sunny, Florence, uh, Northamptonshire, Roseanne, Lorraine, Linda, Eleanor. Uh, I've got Jackie, Louise, I've got Fee, I've got Irene, I've got uh, another Jackie in Aberdeenshire. The northern lights of old Aberdeen mean home, sweet home to me. The northern lights of Aberdeen are what I long to see. I've been a wanderer all of my life and many a sight I've seen. Got speed the day when I'm on my way to my home in Aberdeen. Do you know how I know that song? Uh, I know that song because I used to sing singing competitions and I got up for my very first singing competition and sung that and goes, I'm going to sing an Irish number. And I sang <laughs> that. <laughs> and I sung that. And uh, at the end, in my comments, the judge, uh, the, the judge, uh, the judge said, uh, wrote very first comment, I think you'll find this is Scottish. Uh, I was only like 15 or something, you know. Aww. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I was nervous. Uh, eight pounds... That and I won. £8.95. <laughs> it does help if you're a boy in singing competitions in the classical world because there was only about four of us. Um, uh, if you want that, you have to be quick. There's lots of people coming on, so well done for that. Well done. Well done. Well done. Only 20 of those left. Only 20 of those left. Right. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. Everybody, everyone, are you ready? Are you ready with your clicking of fingers? Okay. Are you all ready with your clicking of fingers? You ready with your clicking of fingers? Okay. Right. Deal of the day. 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 <laughs> there we go. Thank you very much. Uh, Tom. Uh, I think you need to listen to... Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> there was an extra click there, wasn't <laughs> there, Tom? Was. There was, wasn't there, Tom? <laughs> there was an... <laughs> listen, it was the jazz version. Listen, you're not Tina Sparkles at the Pan Pacifics. There's no need to be improvising, <laughs> all right? Uh, <laughs> but thank you, everybody. Lovely, 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 lovely clicking. Yeah. Deal of the day. Uh, right, uh, anyway, so we've got, <laughs> we've got... You know, we need you all stood there, really, is what we need. In the, yeah. in, the, in the guise of the family, 
and then chuck to that camera for. We haven't got enough cameras, have we? Uh, no. Right, uh, anyway, this, this is the deal of the day, right? It's not about the song, it's about the deal. This is the deal. If you want 925 sterling silver chains under four pounds each, don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. Might just get in a bit of trouble over this one. Mm. But we like that. We like pushing the boundaries, especially, especially, especially when the only person who's going to get into trouble is Danny. And me and Debs are all right. <laughs> yeah, we don't mind. You know, we don't mind. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> glad, glad, to, <laughs> glad, to, glad to have you on board, says Danny. Yeah, anytime, <laughs> mate. I got your back. Um, 0800 644 655. Uh, this is the deal. We have promised these under four pounds each. 95 sterling silver. Eight different styles of chains are in their box here. So if you're looking, if you're looking for for your chains. Here is your opportunity. Here is your chance. Uh, these are all different styles in here. So you've got all your different, eight different styles, eight different chains. We only have 47. These are going to sell out. We've got 30 of these already in the basket. We have guaranteed them under four pounds each. If Danny has added this up wrong, <laughs> he's in trouble. <laughs> Danny has checked it about five times. He's actually having a little bit of a... You'll have a nightmare about this. Oh, there they all are. I don't have to get them all out. Uh, the, Danny's, uh, Danny's actually having a little bit of a nightmare about this because he's thinking, what if I've added it up wrong? Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the deal of the day. It's the deal of the day. Doom, do, doom, do, doom. Uh, you've got eight individual strands, eight individual necklaces under four pounds each. Nine to five sterling silver. All individual. You've got people multi buying on these as well. When you get opportunities like this, multi buy multi buy there they all are eight chains and they work out three pounds seventy four three pounds seventy four per chain uh, it's sold out is it okay it's sold out sold out sold out sold out sold out um, are we going to put a price on? Have we done a price? Is it gone? Oh, it's gone. I missed it. Right, okay. Wow. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. In and out. Sorry, sold out. I do apologise. Deal of the day. It was always going to be uh, always going to be impressive. Uh, right, what do you want to do now? Oh, it's time. It's time to go back to deeps. Don't go anywhere. Design inspiration after this. So I feel like loads of people probably missed out on that. I'm really sorry. Really, 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 really. We do try and give you a heads up on things. Um, I can't get that off. The <laughs> I can't actually get that off there. Sticky stuff. Tom, pack. come on, Tom. Come into shop, Tom. Come on. All right. It's tricky, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. You know what? Sticky fingers. Right, uh, been eating sweets. Been eating sweets in the office. That's what he's been doing. Thank you, Tom. I have to make sure they all go back in because they all sold out. So uh, that will be one of them. Right, um, we have got design inspiration, and our next, our next piece. Oh, I didn't. I enjoyed that tool section. I like tools. I like tools. Whenever, I like tools. whenever Lucy gets me to do something at home, I say I'm going to have to buy another tool for that. <laughs> That's I'll do tricky. it. I'll do it, but I'm gonna have to buy another. I couldn't. Yeah, you know, I haven't got. She, she still right. thinks. She still thinks that it takes a cement mixer to hang a door. <laughs> you know. So. Uh, well. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, you got. You got to work on it. You got to find ways you to, get, to get your own cement toys. mixer. Might have. No. Might have. And I've only got. I've only got half a hedge, and I've got a hedge trimmer as well. 
a, a uh, lawn mower, and the, and the lawn's about as, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I could probably done it with a push mower, but yeah. you've got to have an electric one, don't you? You know, you don't yeah. want to yeah. break into a sweat. Uh, I've got a ride, yeah, ride on. That's what I'm working on yeah. next. A ride on. I'd have to, uh, I don't know, I'd have to just do it, I'd have to do it in little bits just so I get to be on it a bit longer. Um, I just sit on it. Uh, bring me, bring me a cup of coffee, please, love. Sit on your ride on and have a, uh, have a coffee. Anyway, design inspiration. Um, I've got here uh, some wonderful, wonderful uh, coloured wire. I've got some gorgeous strands for you, and we have some more of your friendly plastic. Some more colours in your friendly plastic. Um, Debs has been showing us uh, some incredible designs, some amazing ways of uh, the way that you can use these. We've, we've come up with some ideas already, just uh, just chatting on the show, uh, really, um, with, uh, mm. what do we say, serviette holders, yep. um, rings, you can have a, a, the vase um, cover, of cover a, yeah. was quite good, the vase cover. I quite yeah. like it, because if it was a vase cover, you could, you could slide it off, clean the vase, and then slide, because a lot of the time you can't, they're a bit of a pain, aren't they? Some, yeah, some of the couplings you've got on vases. You might even be able to make it so um, it's if it's totally sealed and yeah. you haven't got any holes in it, it'd be waterproof. So it'd hold water, wouldn't it? There wouldn't you go. Need the glass. There you go. Make a vase and uh, send us a picture. There you go. There's, you, a, yeah, there's a challenge. With it full of water <laughs> holding it over your head, like the mine Full of case. water over your head. <laughs> Just check if there's any. Yeah, just check the leaks Spillage. first. Yeah. Uh, uh, so we've got all these colours here. We've got, also got these strands. So these are double strands, I think, by the looks of it. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've got all double, all double strands here. Um, we have a wonderful selection of colours. You've got uh, your, uh, where is our gemstone? You've got your pink amethyst. You've got your turquoise. Uh, you've got your rainbow moonstone. Your neon appetite. Uh, your sodalite. And your lapis lazulite plate, small nuggets on there as well. Uh, wonderful, 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 wonderful look. I mean, all the different, all the different colours here, and it is really sort of coastal colours. I can see, I can see where the inspiration comes for those on the different, uh, with the different colours. Uh, the wire we have for you, uh, we have ten metres of the turquoise. We have ten metres of the blue that's in a point four the turquoise is in point eight we have 10 meters of the silver that's point four and uh, we have 10 meters of the one mil blue color copper wire so are the point four mil silver incredibly popular incredibly popular that one there so you've got that one uh, in that kit as well 10 meters so 40 meters uh, 40 meters of wire in total and all the colors complement each other so this really is. We've really, we, we've really treated you on this one, haven't we? Really, we've done all. We've done all the colours. Got all the designs. Uh, we, we've, you know, we've we've solved the big headache of doing all the colour matching already for you on yeah. this. Yeah. So. Yeah. They uh, work really, really, really nice. well. Uh, this is your coastal beauty. So, forty metres of wire. You've got a huge carat weight. Six double strands of gemstones. Your turquoise, your pink amethyst. Um, you have got your uh, neon appetite, your sodalite, your lapis on there as well, and you have your uh, your uh, friendly plastic, a uh, rainbow moonstone in there as well. Uh, your turquoise, your stormy blue, uh, your silver, uh, your pewter, and your lavender stormy blue. It's a good name, isn't it? Stormy, stormy blue. blue it um, is. And in the strands, you've got over a thousand carats of gemstones. How much, how much would you expect to pay just for the gemstones individually? You're getting the wire, including the silver, one of our most popular grades, 0.4, the silver in the 0.4. Those wonderful colours. Love the turquoise, love the blues. This is where we should be. Now, a thousand carats over a thousand carats, that'd be good for forty-nine uh, seventy-five. You've got all that wire, and you've got the uh, friendly plastic there as well. We're going to break some rules. We're going to break some rules. Getting nice and early. Let's make sure we don't break some hearts in the process. Uh, dropping that price down to thirty-four pounds and ninety-five pence. 
34.95. This is a kit that is going to get you started. This is a kit that is going to, if you do, uh, your, if you use your gemstones, you've got a great selection of gemstones in there. Even at that price, double strands, 34.95 great opportunity some lovely colors some lovely lovely gemstones in there and you can try the friendly plastic as well yeah so perfect absolutely perfect 34 pounds and 95 pence for those uh, we're about to go over and see see what de Bruges uh, made of these. I'm going to bring with me, because I want to keep, keep reminding you we've got the square wire coming up later on as well. So I'm going to bring that with me and my, and my cup of tea. Uh, bring my life with me, it's alright. I'll, I'll put my tea there. I shall have a quick drink first. Thanks Cassie. Loving your work. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so don't forget we've got square wire coming up. Square wire coming up a little bit later on as well. Ho, ho, ho. Square wire. Um, <laughs> oh, hello. I know. I've not seen this before. It's um, for polymer clay. Okay. But I, it's my new favourite toy. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I love it. So I was making um, pebbles using oh, okay. these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For this kit, so. Nice. It, nice. Uh, right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, it might be a case. What haven't you done? Look at all this. Look at this. This is, uh, we were talking earlier on about mixing the two mediums. I mean, this perfectly yeah. shows, doesn't that, what you yeah. can do. Yeah. Right, do you want to talk us through it? Okay. Um, I started off with the, the big one here. And what I wanted was, I, I tend to do a lot of sketching. And I wanted to give um, the look of like a coast coastline. Yeah. So yep. I knew I had this in the sketchbook yeah um so we went down to cornwall and um what i wanted to get was the feel of sort of the pebbles and the coast and the yeah, rockiness yeah yep. um and the water coming around yeah, yep. it and then rock pools and all of the the intricate sort of colors yeah, and yeah, shapes yeah. and patterns yeah, yeah. that you yeah. get there so i started off making the pebble section on the necklace so that was um, sort of the first, the first bit that I did was working out how to make a pebble um, and the rocky sections up the side. Yeah. So how to get the colours and the textures right for that. I um, love that. It all just sort of runs. It's like, the flow, it's like you think of the flow yeah. from, from the grass through to the sand, through to the rocks, yeah. the, through to, or the maybe the rocks through to the sand, through to the sea. Um, yeah, the, the whole the whole landscape as it was in it. Yeah. So, I mean, the the amethyst I thought is like sea when it's crashing up on the rocks. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is, you've got the light because the sea. I think if you ask people what colour is the sea, people just go blue. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. actually, it depends on the weather conditions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends yeah, yeah. on yeah. on what's underneath the yeah, sea and yeah, yeah. sort of the depth of the sea so yeah. you get all sorts of different lines and yeah. stratas and diff yeah. different colours coming through um, so the gemstones in the kit work brilliantly for that um, and and I, I really wanted to, to mix everything together and have sort of the, the stylized ocean yeah, waves yeah, and yeah, things with yeah. the wire coming through um, and then I used one of the pebbles that I had left um, to make the turquoise necklace on the end and show that that you can it's go from out. something that's, that's really heavily um, built and layered and, and yep. things to something that's really simple and clean um, and, and understated, but it's, it's sort of almost making a cabochon out of the pebble shape. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. there's no way if somebody looked at that you would think it was plastic yeah yeah um because of the the sort of texture and the the colors and the the matte finish to it 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 doesn't and of course you can put your own stamp that's the beauty yeah. of it. you can put your own stamp on it can't literally you, you can you actually like? um stamp into the plastic oh, right, okay, with yeah. letters right. so um i did one pebble that had st ives written on it yeah, stamped yeah. into it 
but I then melted it, so I, I ended up <laughs> thinking, oh, we, we won't do that. I mean, can you, can you imagine, <laughs> things that, I mean, if, you've, if you've got this on a stand, because of course, with the, with the friendly plastic, it's so easy, it's so easy to work. I mean, we've got loads yeah. of people coming in for this. Thank you so much for coming in for this. But can, can you imagine, okay, can you imagine on your stand and doing bespoke yeah. Like like jewelry dates. If yeah. you're, if you're if a friend of yours is getting is getting married, um, you could just put the date stamp on the on yeah. the piece of jewelry, couldn't you? Yeah. You. I mean, simple. You, won't take you long. Just but have a flat uh, section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, of your your friendly plastic strip, heat it up. Yeah. It takes literally minutes yeah. to stamp yeah. into it. Yeah. It's, it's brilliant. You know, initials, dates, something nice and simple that you can do yeah. there and then on the spot. We've got lots of people popping these in baskets. Lots of people popping these in baskets. Um, uh, live web comment. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Says it all, really. <laughs> I'm sure they're talking about you, Debs. Um, this is, the, oh, we've got another, uh, another comment. Um, hope Lucy's watching. You are so busted. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for that. that. Oh, yeah, yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> uh, I'm about to get even more busted because we're going to even. We're going to all of those of you that have got these in the basket. Uh, check this out. Check this out. We're going to drop this even lower. Even lower. You've got six individual strands. That is, and that's five pounds per strand. It is six strands, isn't it? Uh, six doubles, six double strands. That's five pounds just for the strands. Then you've got the plastic, and you've got and all the wire. the wire. Remember, you've got all the wire there as well for twenty nine ninety five. The strands and all that. And it's crazy. We started at forty nine seventy five. Danny, Danny went. Oh, I got to do thirty four ninety five <laughs> on this. And then, and then he goes. Do you know what? I've got to take it even lower. Uh, twenty nine ninety five. Don't turn to Danny Dyer. Uh, twenty nine ninety five. <laughs> yeah. Crazy, 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 crazy price. I've crazy got price. Loads of gemstone left, yeah. and I've got most of the I'm wire. I'm not surprised. Look. I know. Look, there's six, really hard to use six strands. <laughs> Five pounds a strand. Get out of here. It's been a pleasure working with you, Danny. You won't be here again. Yeah. Um, I love the ring. I love the ring. That is so simple to do with a friendly plastic. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. simple. You just sink it into the back and then push it into a mould. Lots. So you can, you know, it's brilliant. To Lots use. of people on the line. Lots of people on the line. Make sure you pop those in. Uh, check them out for your baskets. Do not miss out. Right. Right. Uh, do okay. you want to have a quick chat about that one? Oh, yes. My yeah. fish. So I, I was going to make a mermaid. So I made a mermaid's tail, um, which was this big centre one and then I thought Check well that out. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome and then I thought well she'd be swimming with fish so I put some fish around and and then just lots of sea foam and um, but then I thought well actually I need some gold or something for the mermaid yeah. body and I and then I just got sort of sidetracked into the fishy Thing, cause I was so you forgot about the mermaid and I did the fish. I forgot about the mermaid and went with the fish. Do you know yeah. what? I'm so glad you said that because I was drastically going, I can't see the mermaid. Yeah, where's, okay, the, where's, the, where's, the, where's the mermaid? Hi, <laughs> um, Drew and De, De Bruges. I spent my childhood on Chisel Beach, ah. uh, Dorset. Thank you for bringing my exact memories back. Stunning, says Anita in Liverpool. We love, we lo I love, I love yeah. a bit of that era. Dorset's that, yeah, amazing. wandering around the coast, the isn't it? The cliffs and the rocks yeah, coming down to the sea. Proper beachhead. Yeah. Yeah. I, want a, I want a little boat. That's my next thing. Oh yeah, you know, that'd get be a little nice. boat. You know, just yeah. so you can go like a. I'm just going out. I'm just going out fishing. Just go 100, 100 meters offshore. Drop the anchor down. Never sleep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then go to the go to the uh, fishmonger on the way home and go. Yeah, I got these. I've already gutted them and uh, yeah. turned them into fish and chips for you. Yeah, uh, gutted them while I was out there as well. So uh, yeah, chuck some chips on where you lose. Uh, right, uh, twenty nine ninety five for the whole lot. That's with the six strands. Anyway, oh, I love amazing. that. I love the way the fish are sort of disappearing inside. Yeah, he's he's looking for the mermaid as well. He is. Where's she Marina, aqua marina. I'm going to show you how to make the fish. Oh, thanks very much. Thanks for bringing me back. Thanks. Bringing me just when I thought I was out, she pulls me back in again. <laughs> That's why we work well together. Right, <laughs> we're going to do the fish. Here's my, my drawing of my little ducks on the beach. Can you see it? Oh yeah, I can when I take my glasses off. Oh yeah. <laughs> Check you out. I know. That'd be worth some money when you're I famous. Didn't. <laughs> yeah. you sell it for a fortune. Yeah. yeah. They're down you at can the see it. I don't know if you can see that on there, Just can you? Just about see them. You can't. 
Look, they're down the bottom. There they are. Look, the ducks down the bottom. There we go. There we go. So yeah, a couple of three of them. <laughs> anyway, to be fair, I had to do that, and I'm yeah. here in the studio with it. You know, the it's a bit tricky. I don't mean because they don't look like ducks. I mean because they're a bit hard to see on the surface. They are. Right. They are. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you how to do fish. I'm not going to show you how to thread things together and actually create the necklace because that will come right. anyway. So I thought if I showed people how to make lots of different components, yep. they can then put it together as, yeah, yeah, as, as they, they want. Wish. As the, yeah. And, yep. yeah, and I can show you how I connected the wire onto the back of the necklace and things okay. like that. Okay. But yeah. Um, so starting off with pebbles, what I did was use the lilac um, and also I'm not sure which colour this one started out as but I used alcohol inks on there so if I show you what I did um, on that Ooh, like it was patina. I know it is it yeah. looks like copper sheet yeah. doesn't it um, this is uh, latte just are these on the, are these on. on the web these um, uh, the uh, uh, the alcohol pots. They probably are. They're usually on there. They usually usually on the web. Uh, Deb says. Lots of colours. Uh, yeah, we got some. They're available on the web. Those they're available on the web. Those because you use those in both the kits. Yeah, they? yeah. I've used them with lace before as well. Um, you can use them with your polymer, so they're essential. So I've got um, all sorts of different colours just mixed together on there. And then exactly the same technique as I did before, using a sharp um, implement of some sort. I scratched up the surface, just put sort of textures and, and things into the surface, and then uh, left it to dry and added more. Or um, what you can do is when you've got your texture like this and you've scratched the, the inks into the surface, you rub it off where the inks have been touching you get it sort of oh, okay yeah yeah almost yeah. oxidizes on the yeah on the um foils yep yeah, yeah um so you can then take some off and build it up again oh, i'm going to end up covered in different colors again my hands were multicolored <laughs> 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 when i finish this i don't put gloves on because i just get too excited and carried away <laughs> so just keep building up your colours yeah, and yeah. Your tones until you get um, a nice sort of rocky effect. But this is um, what I did on quite a few of the sheets and it gives um, more of a, a matte finish. And also what you can do, just get the right brush, that yeah. one, is like um, if anyone did paint effects in the 1980s, okay, yeah, yeah, sort yeah. of stippling and mixing your colours together a bit and putting in texture and Again, building it's it up. It's a little up. bit trial and error, isn't it, really? It is, yeah. So if we put some on top of there, it sort of knocks back some of the colour and, yeah. and builds up the layers and pattern. Um, so once you've done that, leave it to dry, like we did with the other one. Yeah. Um, and then once it's dry, Oh, that piece isn't because I've just put more on there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you can see why I end up. I just, uh, I'm a dirt magnet. It just attracts. Oh, oh he's up in a hopeless. <laughs> I think right. that has to be uh, one of the quotes of the day. A I'm a dirt magnet, magnet me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm skilled at attracting dirt. Um, There's too much I'm material there, Deb's not enough time. I know. I just keep feeding you. I don't know where I've put Aren't the scissors lost? now. What you lost? Scissors. Well, Edward scissor hands. Perhaps if you uh, make the shape of scissors with your oh, hands, we might find them. Oh, a hang bit, on. Uh, I tidied up. Oh, uh, there we go. That's there never go. a good there idea, go. is there it? Go. No. Scissors. <laughs> Got them. Right, we're going to make pebbles. Was it paper, rock, scissors, something like that? Paper, <laughs> rock, scissors. We used to make them up, though, so that's sort of cheating then, and it never worked. <laughs> Lawn mower. Right, chop off. Um, just a, a section of yep. your sheet and it's at the minute it's square it doesn't have to be it can be off cuts yeah um, 
So, so just remind us, what are we doing? What are we making We're here? making pebbles. We're making the or pebbles. Or the rocky outcrops, uh, if you like. And right, okay. Rock yep. pools. Yep. So once you've, you've got these, if you're using um, a water bath, it's quite easy with these to just pop them into yep. a water bath, work with um, one at a time. But I'll heat them. So I'll do one with the lilac -y tone and one with the green tone. So if I... No, I've lost the all. <laughs> it's under there. Cheers. I made it out, Debs. Yeah, that, that was good. That was lots good. of these in baskets. Lots of these uh, checked out as well. Congratulations. Uh, Jen, Rosie, Joanne, Carol, uh, Corinne. Uh, lots of anonymouses there. Hertfordshire, Cheshire, uh, Worcester, Sea, Lorna, Irene, Jane, Veronica, Susan, James, Rock. Lots of people coming in. So well done on that. It's a great price. Uh, you're looking at five pounds each on the double strands, and then you've got the wire added to that yeah. as well. Um, as it's well amazing. as, the, as the, yeah, it's a great deal, great deal. So even if you don't want to use the friendly plastic, yeah, it's a great deal it's anyway. It's still so amazing. If you want to try the friendly plastic, this is the one for you. Yeah. Because you've got lots of wire in this, you've got lots of gemstones, and you've got the friendly plastic as well. Okay. You can see um, that that's soft already. Um, if you just push your all in, it's soft over there. This is still quite hard okay. around this side. So I just need to warm this section yep. here. Yep. Make sure it's soft all over to the same consistency. And then a little bit more. What I've done is one of the dimples in the tray, I've just waxed it with okay. the um, the balm. Now I'm going to pick this up. So it's not mega hot. Um, if, I'm, if, if anyone's going to have an accident with something, it's going to be me. And <laughs> I didn't burn myself once. Oh, thanks for so that. <laughs> it's perfectly safe. <laughs> so pop your plastic in face down and I just tucked over the corners so it then turns it into more of a, a round rocky shape that's been sort of worn by yeah. the, the tide and push it down really hard and, and what will happen is um, the sides will start to come up and you can just tuck them in a bit and, and wrap them round so that it gives a nice pebbly shape. Yep. So that's and what that also will do is force the um, the foil on the, the the plastic to split and and crack. Okay. To get that more natural so sort of look to it. Yeah, gives a bit more texture. So once you've got that, you can take it out of your tray, and that's quite soft now still so you can sort of shape it up a bit and make it a different yeah 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 shape and then what we want to do is using your carving tools um, all I did was heat the surface so I'm gonna flip my tray over and I'm gonna pop that on the back so that if I heat it a lot and it starts to slump, it's going to stay in its shape. Yep. yep. Um, so I'm just going to heat it gently. Now, it could fly away, because if you catch underneath with the, the heat tool, yeah. it will just take off. Um, so just be aware of the direction that you're, you're heating in. And then on the carving tools, you've got a really nice texture. Yeah. On the, it's um, like a, the it's tool. Like a mill grain, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So just heat it up and then roll uh, over. Yeah, 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 yeah. With with the tool and that gives a really nice texture yeah. on the rock. And it um that then makes the light react differently yeah. as well. So that's that's complete. In and this is what we're talking about, finding different things. You know, you'll, be looking around yeah. your, you'll be looking around your home, looking at things completely differently, you think, well, can't yeah. I can't make a pattern out of that. Yeah. I used, um, to make the mermaid's tail, I actually used the 
um, the metal um, it's, it's something that you actually wrap pastry round to make cream horns and things oh like okay. that yeah, 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 um, yeah. Yeah. so it's like a little trumpet thing um, and that is is uh, all I used to make the the mermaid's tail oh. wrap yeah. round yeah. and curl so while it's still a little bit warm I'm just pushing the all, thr all through and that's making um, a nice sized hole I don't know if you can see it that way a bit more easily if you push from this way it makes really nice you know when you have like um oh it needs to be in a softer area hang on that's softer still if i push it through you'll see it makes like a little raised section and you get barnacles and stuff growing on the rocks yeah 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 in that sort of shape oh yeah yeah but you can make um i suppose like if you had not if you had not such a sharp end on it as well you could you could you push can, it under yeah. you do all sorts yeah. of things can't you yeah i'm talking about the carving tools i don't know if i've still got them over here yes i have the the uh, the graphics for the carving tools have just gone up so this is uh this is the kit here this is awesome this yep. is awesome so uh, if you want to do any shapes and of course this can go through you can use this on the sculpey clay you can use this basically in any medium this is going to be like an extra pair of hands these as well but of course they are uh, predominantly used for the carving so 9.95 for the whole roll we like that um, also we we've uh, all these have sold out we've done we've done two upsells of the uh, um, uh, of the friendly plastic um, and they've both gone they've both gone so please 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 if you want some extra friendly plastics um, just get in quickly just get in quickly because these are as soon as we're putting these up they're pretty much going um, if you, that is uh, floral garden chameleon copper, lavender and matte gold in your friendly plastic strips. Seven ninety five. They're around, uh, what did we say, for £1.59? £1 mm. £1.59 per strip. It's affordable uh, and it's what it says on the, as well as what it says on the packet, it's friendly to use. You can use it with any other mediums. We're, we're using it with gemstones. Um, you know, you can, uh, you can use it to, we were talking about, um, someone said, could we use it to bale gemstones? Yeah. Uh, certainly, you could use it to bail gemstones. Um, and I'll tell you what, if you've got something, um, if you've got something as um, as Ooh, unique yeah. and difficult as this, and you're thinking, how on earth am I going to, but we, we sold this earlier on, by the way. Um, I think there's still some of these left. I'm not sure you'll have to check, uh, check out. You know, if you, if you wanted to, to do some sort of mm. special bail with that, then uh, um, you know that that is really going to be uh, um, where this is going to come into uh, come into its own, and you could even make a little mould of make, this um, with the, yeah, with the with make a mould, and then so you can make a mould using your polymer clay. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. you push the friendly plastic into it, and you could use all sorts uh, it, of different it's shapes, just, colours. It's it just works really well. Endless, but that yeah. is going to sell out. We've sold out the last two lots that we've done of these. So if you want those, please, please, please jump on the line. ASAP. Uh, 7.95. I'm going to quickly show you some wire. Um, quickly show you some wire as well. Um, are we doing the square wire now? Oh, it all comes together. Mm. Are we doing this now? <laughs> are you ready? Are I you am. ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Right. Debs, we will, we will, we will return. We will return. But we do have so much to get through. I'm sorry about no, eating. I'm right. really, I'm really, really sorry. Another couple of pebbles. Yeah, that's fine. You pebble away. You pebble away. Oh, it's like we're at the we're it's like we're at the beach together. It is. You yeah, play you with just pebbles. Off and me playing with wire. And <laughs> As you do. Doing that. <laughs> right. This is one of the best wire bundles. You have got the always elusive and very hard to acquire your square wire. Um, I saw yeah. this being used in um, a, a great, great, great way. And it was almost like bales of straw. Oh. And they basically had all the, in, they had like probably two inch long pieces. Yeah. And they curled them at the top and at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then they wrapped them around. And they, they looked like miniature straw, you know, the, oh, the, old, tall, yeah. the old tall straw bales. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it looked like that. It looked fantastic in the square. Uh, so we've got this um, in, the, uh, in the gold color. And we've got this in the silver color for you. Uh, not 
only, not only do you get that, but we are also going to throw in for you uh, 10 metres of 0.6 in the gold coloured. You've also got 10 metres in the 0.8 antique bronze. You've also got uh, 10 metres of the 1 mil, and you've also got uh, 10 metres of the 0.8 in the silver coloured as well. It is uh, impressive, impressive in its selection, and we're going to give you a very impressive price as well. Um, we have also we have also got the point four in the silver in the kit that we're uh, that, that we're offering as well. So uh, uh, we, we we decided to put it in this bundle and in the kit as well because it's one of the most popular uh, coils that we do. Wonderful wire collection. I mean, already twenty eight pounds seventy. One, two, three, four, four spools, forty meters plus plus your square wire as well. Are you ready? This has been put together specifically, specifically for this moment, for this show. This is a bundle that has been planned for a couple of weeks, planned for a Sunday. We know that it's going to be popular. We know that it's going to be big. We know that you love your different wires. That is why we have bringing you the square wire with this, because these are very usable. Mm -hmm. Remember the uh, the 0 0.8, um, the one millimeter, uh, the 0 0.8, the 0 0.6 as well. You know, these are all very, very usable wires here. So um, you've got everything here for under 20 pounds. I mean, ridiculous it's, deal, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. It will go such a long way as well. Um, do you have used that square? Used the I square have, wire? yeah. Um, I've used it before. It makes really nice, neat bezels. Yeah. For, so if you use it with the mandrel yeah, yeah, that yeah. we had earlier, that would be really nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, but also, I've I've made a little ring um, with it. So oh, okay. I just made that earlier. So it's just got a ribbon cord end at the back holding it together. Um, but it's dead simple. So that, just I mean, a really nice finish on on the wire. I mean, that is absolutely, you know, it uh, just shows you, what, it's a different look, isn't it? Um, yeah. It's 1.25 metres, 1.25 metres. So when you think, you know, just for that, just for that, yeah. just for that, and how many rings you can make it out of it. It was about, how much know, was that? Five centimetres, six yeah, centimetres? Yeah, a couple of, couple of inches, couple yeah. of inches, you know, yeah. it, it really is. When you start making it into jewellery and that sort of vein, you know, even, uh, uh, even the, the bezel setting of the gem size yeah. isn't going to use a, a whole lot, is it? No. 1.25 metres in the square, and you've got that in the, uh, is that gold or bronze? What are they calling that? I think it's gold. Uh, is that the gold? Is it? So you've got it in the gold and we've got it in the silver uh, and they're both 1.25 metres. Yeah, both 1.25 metres. That's your antique bronze there. Uh, there's your then, antique. Yeah. yeah, are, yeah. They, are we looking at the... Yeah, yeah so it is the gold. So, yeah, so we've got yeah. antique bronze, silver, silver and gold in the wire and then you've got the silver and the gold in the uh, um, in the square wire. We'll leave those graphics on. People still coming in for that. Uh, we'll read through it. We'll have another quick look at that at the end I think and uh, see how we're going. Right. Pebbles. Okay, just heat this one a bit more. Um, so I've put a couple more holes in there and what I did was use the... Oh it was about to take off then. Yeah. Um, um, I've used beading thread and actually threaded it through the pebble to attach my gemstones so you put you put your holes into the the friendly plastic yeah. pebble and then when you come in to do your your gemstone and add in that in it's really easy then just to um, pop your your beading thread through and you can then thread on this side, yep. pop some gemstones on here, come back through that hole, and then both are coming out at the back. Okay. Um, but it makes a nice feature, yeah, yeah, almost yeah. like the water then tumbling over and around the rock. Yep. Um, so what I did was, before I added on to the, the, um, the pebbly section with with gemstones, I stuck the pebbles together. So what what you do, if you just hold um, the pebble in your hand and just heat it up, if you're doing it with um, hot water, you can just dip one edge 
into yeah. the hot water and it heats just that section. And then you can see, hopefully, that that's shiny yeah. in that area there, which, yeah, you can see it there. Um, that area there is, is now sticky, so that will stick onto yeah. um, the other pebble. So, do you know what I watched the uh, I watched the um, uh, the demonstration last night, and I sort of thought to myself, do you know, what, we, we, I'd probably do. I think putting it in the water bath is the way I'd like to do yeah. this. But seeing what you've done today, you can be a lot more quicker with this, can't you? I think, I, you can, I think it's you quicker. Can, yeah, you can like. Um, pinpoint a certain area that you want that yeah. you want to use with it, rather than putting it in the water uh, and bringing and it out all the time. And then, yeah. yeah, and bringing it out all the time. So, um, yeah, I. You sold me. You've 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 moved <laughs> me over to the uh, to the hot air gun. Well, I I felt this was easier for me because I can direct the heat yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. where I want it. And the other thing that I s did was I I've got a little square of heat proof mat yeah so what I can do is protect that area there um, heat this up or heat that up and it's not heating everything because yeah. yeah. that's that's protected so it meant that I could be really selective yeah, about yeah, yeah. how I yeah. wanted yeah. To, yeah. to heat my piece and then um, I'm just gonna take this one heat it and then we'll stick it on um, so that it's in line with the and and you can then shape it up and form it and work out where you want it to go if you don't like it just cut it off yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah, yeah. redo that that area so you've got that hot there so oh I don't think I've heated it enough I haven't so I'll have to reheat let's heat that one because we're talking too much. Yeah. You wouldn't okay. think we're presenting, would you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Chat. <I'm> just chatting <laughs> away. <laughs> Here we are at the beach. Yeah. Having a lovely old time. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking you could make really um, cute little crabs as well and put them into the rock yeah. pool. Yeah. With like um, a gnarly sort of shell. Yeah. I'll have to get onto that. So that's starting to build up. Um, and then what I did for like almost like the cliff face was um, I cut a strip of the lilac just off the, the edge and then um, oh come on no it's that way I need to cut isn't it that's why it's not coming off <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, and then if this is the, the section that I want to use going up the side of the necklace here, what I need to do is stick like the lilac highlight, if you like, okay. where the sun's hitting the rock face down here. So it's just in exactly the same way as we did before, heating the edge of the, the plastic and then sticking it in position. And then what I did after that was drag it across to make um, the rock sort of merge together a little yeah, bit yeah, and, yeah. and give it some form. So I think that's that's probably. Do you need to heat one side then? Yeah, just heat it, that yeah. and it will tack it together like it did before. And then I'm going to heat the whole area. And I'm going to find my favourite. Um, there we go. That's my favourite <laughs> carving yeah, tool. Your favourite carving my tool. My favourite one. I why? Don't tell, uh, why? Because it's got this bit on the end that's smooth, so I can smooth stuff down with it. I can use it to apply mica powder and things oh, yeah, yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. And then this side has got a pointy side. So it's quite precise. Yeah, it's your most versatile. So, yeah. It's your most versatile tool. Yeah? It is. It's it your go-to tool. It's my go yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tool of choice. Tool of choice. So. It's the tool of the day. <laughs> There's a heavy metal song in there somewhere. There is, there is. So I'm gonna heat this up 
and then manipulate the two colours together. So I'm not stuck that very well, am I? Come on. That's it. It's because the lilac is a smaller piece, so and the heat. Yeah. Mm. Heating differently. I was there with you. I was there yeah. with you, did. Yeah. So you're getting the hang. I'll, um, <laughs> you can make some fish in a minute. <laughs> Fran threw down the challenge earlier. Yeah? Make a fish. Make a fish. Born. Right. I was born to make a fish. <laughs> <laughs> so if you now push the edge, I'm working from the wrong side, but and drag it across, and you can build textures in, oh, yeah, yeah. and then you can use different tools to make it a bit more craggy, lines coming across like the rock is, yep. um, what's that, strata and, yeah. Sedimentary? No? Yeah. yeah, could be, yeah. Could be. You're so I kind don't know. to me. You're so kind to me. <laughs> yes, true, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and almost rough up the the yeah it's amazing how easy it is to join that yeah so that's obviously i still need to heat that yeah. and stick yeah. it in there properly but that's now um connected those two pieces together and then i'm going to snip that off at the bottom because i don't need all of this and use that to make rocks later on I'm just gonna remember no wastage no no wastage you can use every single little bit so I'm gonna create a, a section here where it's a bit different and move that around create some ledges in my rock face so you can really go to town with it and, and create something really original and then this section with our little pebbles and boulders I'm just going to stick on the bottom here and then what I did was again make holes into the um, yep. the rock face to thread in and out so this is the section that we're doing here through So if we come down there, this is a section that uh, Deb's just done with the purple on the side and then we come down through to the rocks and we're just joining the rocks to that section there. So then you just need to leave that to go hard Yep. Um, once you've, you've connected so it all So basically you just heated that one up and pushed, pushed it up, the pebbles pushed in. Heated it up, pushed that in. Yeah. So that's now joined together it's too warm to to lift off at the minute yeah. but um, As, well, what that calls I'll tell you what let's uh, let's do it. we have uh, we have Ooh, another I little uh, selection either. so much new stuff <sighs> sounds like if, if crimp beads were at a football game that's what they sound <laughs> like <laughs> crimp bead FC come on you crimps come on you crimps uh, right so we have we have your, what are these, T-bars? They are toggly, toggle clasps. Toggle clasps. Yeah. So we have a selection of uh, rose gold plated copper fancy toggle clasps. Uh, that is um, uh, 10 pieces. So 10, so 10 pairs, basically. Although I think they'd make really nice pendants with polymer pushed through or, ah, yeah, or yeah. friendly plastic yeah, pushed yeah. through the center. Oh, through, the, yeah. yeah nice yep so basically the idea is what you cut that jump so ring in the center undo the, the undo jump the, ring yeah. yeah with your pliers and then and then that just becomes a t-bar yeah. class basically yeah yeah a nice ornate t-bar class so that would that one side of these uh would go through there like that oh that'd make a nice chain wouldn't it so yeah it would wouldn't it mm. yeah oh yeah nice little uh, nice little drop down put a couple of those together yeah uh, very. Um, this is just that you know. You always got to think outside the box. And uh, here, a rose gold plated, copper fancy toggle class, 24 millimeter T-bar, and 20 millimeters round. 
uh, external diameter on that. 10 pieces, £7.95. £7.95. Uh, perfect piece for your jewellery armoury. Or should I say per pieces uh, for your jewellery armoury there. Uh, gorgeous selection. So your toggle class, uh, whether you want to use those as, uh, as pendants, whatever you like. Uh, what was that, sorry? Uh, 79p. 79p each. It's ridiculous when you break it down, isn't it? Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, so we've got those, we've got the crimp beads for you as well. Crimp bead, United. Um, and these, I'll tell you what these are going to be. I need a pair, of, a pair of pliers, a pair of tweezers, I mean, there. Thank you very much. So these are. Alive. Alive. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. So these different crimp beads, these aren't broken then, these ones. Wee! So they're not broken, those ones. Yeah. Yeah, one Don't of those. know where it's gone now. They're not broken, are they, like the other ones? No, they're not open. So open. you can use them as um, open. open. So you, can use, you can always use these as little seed beads as well. You can, you, yeah. There we go. Oh! Yeah, see? It's not just Did me, you see is that? it? But I fired it back into the box. Is that right? You're good, yeah. Laura. You're good. Like a sharp That's a shooter. good game. Good game uh, there. Oh, 300 pieces. Except for this box. It's 299 <laughs> in this box now. Uh, three, uh, 300 pieces. Uh, these are your black plated copper crimp beads. 7.95. Oh, my goodness. What's that? About 15? No, about 25? Something like that. It's a very small amount, isn't it? Mm. Tiny. Yeah, not two and a half p, isn't it? Something like that. Um, Twenty-five, two and a half. That's what I meant. I got my decimal place in the wrong place. Uh, Seven pounds ninety-five. Black plated copper crimp beads, three millimeter. These are closed crimp beads. Make that two hundred and ninety-eight in that <laughs> box now. There they are. I'm gonna give up. <laughs> I'm gonna give up. Oh, hang on, hang on. Have hang we got on. one? I have an idea. They do fit. There. Do you want pliers? No, I want to try this because of look, look, look. Cousin all is a friend in your neighbourhood. In your neighbourhood. Then, uh, <clears throat> anyway, there it is on the end. There it is. Look at that, two and a half p each. Close. I think that's the best display ever. I think so too. Thanks very much. Yeah. We'll keep you on. Cheers. Uh, Seven pounds <laughs> ninety-five. Three hundred of those. Careful. That was that was very dangerous. They could have gone at any moment. They could have gone <laughs> at any moment. They didn't know. <laughs> you know what? No, no <laughs> trust. Uh, no faith. Seven ninety-five. There's your. Uh, Thank you. Your tools back. Thank you very much. Well, there we go. Uh, right. So seven thousand ninety-five for those. Back to uh, back to our seaside delight. Okay. I'm going to um, just show you how easy it is to attach the wire to the friendly plastic. Okay. So you can use the holes that you made and sort of stitch it in. Yep. If you wanted to, or um, if we make a swirl on the end, so like a wave swirl, um, and then cut it off here, and just attach that in there. So what we do, if you just cut off, or if you've got any scrap bits of your, your plastic, yep. and then... Um, Make sure your your piece that you're actually making is out of the way. You don't want to be heating that up again. So then just heat this little section until it's nice and soft. Yeah. Boop. So I'm using the lower setting on this heat gun. Yeah. Um, but it still heats up. Yeah, yeah, really quite quickly. quickly. Um, 
but you want this so it's it's really soft all the way through and malleable yeah so you want to make sure your whole um you're really holding the wire yeah, in yeah, place yeah. it's not about aesthetics is it it's no. practicality on this yeah. one yeah so it's it's going at the back make sure you peel your stickers off before you start putting it together though <laughs> school boy here <laughs> <or> there yeah <laughs> <laughs> i owned up <laughs> So that's where I want my, my swirl to come from. So I'm going to just pick up the friendly plastic Using section. one of the carving tools, which is still available yep. in the kit that we've got for you. And then just pop it over the top of the wire yep. and press it down. And it grabs around the wire. Yeah, yeah. As yeah. soon as it, so it covers it up, there's nothing to scratch. So easy. It's, I love it. And that's, I absolutely love it. That's then in place. As soon as it's cooled down, um, you know, carry on working. Yeah. And so you can add as many as yep. you want. Um, again, just make sure you protect the area. If you're going to be heating here on your pebble, then yep. this is also going to heat up. Yep. So you don't. So what's just, that tip you did last? Because that was really good. That I just yeah. covered it up with yeah, the yeah, heat proof. Yeah. Yeah. And it obviously, if you keep heating, the heat will transfer through yeah. the plastic. Yeah. But you don't need to heat it up that much. So basically, carry on building up, um, and that's that's really all the techniques yeah. that are in that that necklace. And then if um, we come back and look at the necklace again can see all those techniques uh, being used in this one piece so uh, again this is what we've been making you've got the pebbles coming down from the rock face into the pebbles and then moving them. and I love that it's like all the seaweed isn't it all yeah, in between the rock yeah. I love the fact that you've hidden sort of half of the rocks you can't see all the outside of the rock yeah because you know that thing right as a dad you know you're, you're, you're there on the beach with your son and he's like uh, get, let, you're lifting up rocks you know <laughs> and, and then he goes can you lift up that one and you go and yeah. lift it up because he looks about <laughs> that big and it's like <laughs> yeah uh, half a ton uh, I think uh, I think Santa Claus has wants that one there for Christmas, Charlie. So uh, we'll move on to one over here. Um, do you blame Santa Claus for everything? I do. I yeah. do. Yeah. 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 I'm going to make fish. We even used that trick the other day that the ice cream man plays the siren when there's no ice cream left. <gasps> That's mean. <laughs> That's really mean. <laughs> He's going to hate you for that. That is that is that is genius. Um, how are we doing for time? Oh, okay, right, right. Yeah, a couple of minutes, that's yeah. all you need for fish. Right, okay, okay. So, we've got a couple of um, pieces cut out. Yep. And they don't need to be fish-shaped particularly because that's the brilliance of the friendly plastic. So what we're going to do, let's take that one as a body and we'll go for that one as a tail. So, vaguely resembles a fish. Um, okay, I'm going to use a round cutter yep. that you tend to use with your polymer. So, to start with, I'm just going to heat this sort of section here. Yeah. Oops, it would help if you could see it, wouldn't it? So oh, good. I was done. <laughs> You know what, I always forget that it's actually being shown on TV, it's something like this. Have you noticed? I'm here all the time I'm going, really scared I'm going to burn your nose or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then taking this triangular section, this is his tail, you just push it in and it it will connect. And then I'll show you how I did like the lines on his tail. So I heat the tail. And then you know the springy things that we had yep. on Monday? Yep. So your bead stoppers, it makes a brilliant fish's tail. Yeah. I'm going to have to spin it round. So I'm just going to put some balm on there so that doesn't stick. Press that down to make sure they're connected. Spin my fish around so it's the right way round. And then using the spring, I'll switch, switch that off so you can hear. Using the spring, I just go along like that on it. Oh, I've not heated that bit, but you get the idea. Yeah, yeah. Put yep. lines in, and then you can use your carving tools to shape his tail. Put 
serrated bits in here. And then on the body, heat it up. So you can start to see that the foils just yep. beginning to, to change the texture. And then using your cutter, you just, hang on, which way round? That way round. Press it in, and that forms like the head and then yeah. the body section. I'm going to give him a mouth. So they all ended up smiling, which was a bit off putting. They so were. <laughs> my fish were all smiling. That's all right, you love happy fish. What's wrong with <laughs> happy fish? <laughs> <laughs> they just looked a bit odd, really, <laughs> swimming along and smiling. It was. Well, it was because no one's like told them they're a fish. <laughs> and then, if you take some of the wax cutters, have got um, like different shapes on. So then yeah. you can make scales. Um, again, which way is this going? That's going that way. So just pressing it in, it gives the fish texture. And again, the same way that we did with the the rocks, you can use this, yeah. and it makes a really nice oh, fishing yeah, yeah, scaly yeah, pattern. Yeah, yeah. And then the final element, and I've lost my all again. There it is. Is um, make a hole for his eye, and then I connected that to the. That fish <laughs> has got a person's face <laughs> on the front of it. I love it. <laughs> It's that is mad, awesome. Isn't it? That is awesome. I love it. They've all got their own characters. <laughs> and then, if you actually leave it to set, you can manipulate your sheet and end oh up yeah. getting him yeah, to, yeah. to curve and yeah, yeah. look like he's actually moving, swimming. That is amazing. So, once he's set, you've got your fish. The eye is <laughs> where you put your head pin to connect him into your your gemstone strand. I do you know what? <laughs> I love the fish. I think that's my favourite thing today, is the fish. So Check you could, him out. It's dead easy to make fish. He's, a re he's an angry fish. He you've, made it, you've succeeded in making an angry fish. <laughs> he needs an you eyebrow know? then if he's an angry yeah, fish. I, I, quite, I quite like him. <laughs> Look, he's, he's swimming around going, Oi, Get what, out of my waters. What, what are you doing around my <laughs> castle? <laughs> oh. Is it a castle? I didn't remember. Oh no, that. he's upside down. No, no, he's not. He's upside down on the camera. He is, yeah. Yeah. He's nearly, nearly set. <laughs> but you, you they're, they're brilliant. So you can't get him around the right way. He's, it's, it's upsetting <laughs> me that he's upside down. I've got to think about. We bought some fish. I've got the laziest. Do they swim uh, upside down? Yeah, I've got a Japanese fighting fish because they don't fight Ooh. each other. They don't fight each, any other fish, and they fight each other. They're really nice, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, but he's got loads of fins. But mm. trouble is. He, he, he swims around, right? He swims around to the back of the tank <laughs> and he swims up to the filter and goes, <laughs> right? And then he just stays there. He's the laziest fish ever. And he's like that. His head's just is going. Is he snoozing? Snoozing attached to the and filter. And at least he's thinking he's dead. I said, he's not dead. You turn the filter off and he goes. I had a goldfish once. Again. One of the fish, um, there, was, there was a couple of them in the tank swimming around and I came down one morning and the fish was on the um, kitchen floor. I was like, oh no, the fish is dead, the fish is dead. The cat had like scooped it out and I picked it up and put it back in but it always swam in circles because it had sort of burnt the side of his <laughs> body. So he had a scar down was one he all side. Right, though? Yeah, it was fine. Did you name him Scar? Did you <laughs> name him Scar for yourself? After that? Or Lucky? <laughs> <laughs> On that note, <laughs> they're telling me to get off. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We're going to be short. Thank you. Can I give him a round of applause for Debs, by the oh, way? I like coming here. I, when I you're love on. the fish. I yeah, love the fish. Uh, do not go anywhere. <laughs> anywhere. Anyway. Anywhere. We'll be back after the break. <laughs> I love chips and nuggets. Ever since I first joined the company nearly three years ago, I've been absolutely hooked. What I love are the varying sizes, the varying shapes, the varying colours, and most of the gemstones that we carry in our stock have some form of chips and nuggets, right from what I call the tiny little microchips 
right through to the nuggets, right through to the big ice cube boulders. There's just such an array of sizes and shapes and they lend themselves so well to macrame, to wire wrapping, to rosary link, all sorts of techniques to use. And you can make the simple, delicate little bracelet right through to the enormously heavy, chunky bib style necklace. I just adore them. The fastest way to shop with Jewelry Maker is by going to our website. Just click on the sign up button. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the Watch Live button on the front page. You can also use our Refine tool and narrow down your search. Once you've found an item that you like, just simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day and still only pay one p and Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Spinel is a historically important gemstone. It is often located in the same gravel beds as things like corundum, so your rubies and sapphires. Because it comes in the same colours, blues and reds, it's often mistaken as a sapphire. Now, this isn't to the detriment of spinel itself. It has its own important qualities such as great RI, so it's very, very reflective, and great dispersion as well. So it shows a lot of fire as the light hits the stone. From um, a historical point of view, um, one of the main important spinels actually sits in the crown jewels and this was for a long time believed to be a ruby, but recent gemological testing has found the Prince's Ruby is actually a spinel. Join the jewellery making fun with this fantastic In The Mix DVD. This DVD includes four different techniques with four different guest designers. Debbie Bulford shows us how to create elegant polymer clay pendants. Laura Binding is here to show us a beautiful wire wrapped ring. Mark Smith with his fantastic macrame earrings using beading thread and gemstones. And finally, Liz Welch with jewel enamel pendants. You'll be surprised just how many different ways there are to make new and exciting pieces of jewellery. To get your hands on a copy of this fantastic DVD, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. The early bird catches the worm. Don't miss out on your chance to grab our amazing early bird offers at 9am on weekday mornings. Catch them while you can. Welcome in Beer Venue. Welcome uh, to our design inspiration with myself, Drew Nichols, and the lovely Debs. I like the fish. I like the fish. You have to take him home for Charlie. Can I take him home for Charlie? I want yeah. the fish. I want the fish. He's like a comedy fish. I can. <laughs> it, it's like it's genius. It's, abs it's absolutely genius. Uh, name the fish. Text in. Name the fish. Yeah. I think he looks like a Sylvester. Uh, Dibs is going for Sylvester. Sylvester the fish? Maybe not. It's more That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. They can't <laughs> win the fish. I've got the fish. <laughs> it's for pure fun. <laughs> All right? I've got the fish. <laughs> it's mine. I mine. should call him Brian. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> uh, right. What's that? Uh, Theodore. Oh. Theodore. De Derek. Derek. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Derek. All right, Derek. You're not moving. <laughs> All right, Theodore. No, still not moving. Um, see, if we had a green screen, do you know what? You could go to town with that, oh, couldn't good. you, boys? You can go to town with that if you like. Um, uh, right, right, where are we starting? Oh, yeah. Now, I've not done these before. These are for your half-drilled findings um, and the elegance of having a pearl that is not drilled all the way through. These are shell pearls, but have a look. Oops, have a look. I don't quite know how to display this, but I'll, uh, I'll, I'll hold one up like that. There we go. There's the shell pearl. 
So your shell pearl and basically you have a drill hole on the top. Now you have half drilled findings uh, for these. Um, or I suppose there's nothing to stop you just chopping the end off a, a finding and, and gluing it in like that. That would work as well, yeah. would it? Or yeah. you could um, just use a piece of wire, yep. glue it in and turn a loop on the top. Yep. Um, and they're, then they're perfect for earrings yeah, or yeah. pendants yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, there's loads of ways to connect to these, but the, the, the main point is that you get uh, this clean base here. So it is this wonderful shimmering of the pearl and it's that classic drop isn't it i don't think i've ever done these before um uh, apparently you've done them in rounds have these not been on before these are brand new i've been spoiled wow. today danny i feel i've been very very spoiled um we've also got these in the purple so you've got it in the white and you've got it in the purple as well. So there's the two different colours there. They're really good size, these. I'm going to... Right, it's going very well, this, at the moment. So I'm going to hold the ruler on and see if I can give you a little bit of an idea of size on these. So you're looking at... Uh, let me see. You're looking at... They're about, if we say, just over a centimetre. Just over a centimetre from the, from the bottom to the top of there. So they're good size. Oh, there we go. 12 by 9 millimetres. I was right. 12 by, just over a centimetre. You know, great rule of work, Drew. That's what you need to say. Um, right, so 12 millimetres in height, these. They're substantial. They're a good size. We're going to go straight to the price. These are the very first time on um, 10 pieces in total. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Um, you know, less than a pound a piece, 79p, something like that. It is ridiculous when you think of the quality piece of jewelry that you can make. Imagine, imagine the drop earrings on these. Can, do you know what? I, I'm, I'm for some reason, I'm not thinking chain, I'm thinking a little bit of the cord, you know, like the coloured jewellery cord, and just poke that in and just a little drop, you know, have a little uh, a, a little stud of some description, yeah. get one of your studs with little drops on. Um, you know, uh, I just think they are elegance personified, the drop pearls. £7.95, I did not expect these to be at that price, £7.95. They are less than a pound each. Incredible. And the quality, the shell pearl, you get that beautiful shimmer, that lovely, lovely, lovely shine off those. I mean, as a pair, as a pair, that is just, can you imagine those as earrings? And look mm. at that colour, look. Look at that, uh, that orange, that wonderful sort of rainbow of colour that you get off the top. £7.95. Lots of interest on the line. So please, please, please uh, do make sure that you check those out of your basket. Right, uh, we have for you uh, the Appetite. Oh, I do like these, these made-up chains. I think these are gorgeous. These are gorgeous. And, and Danny, who, uh, who works here quite regular, on a regular basis. Um, I say work, he's here on a regular basis. Um, these are your Neon Appetite faceted rondelles. He's telling me that uh, this is one of the best prices that he's seen on, uh, on this style. Uh, incredible, uh, firm, firm favourites these, aren't they Dibs? They are. Firm, yes, firm favourites. Uh, we've got a lot to get through. We are going to go quite fast and quite furious on these. These are your uh, silver gemstone chains. That's a great shot. There's, there's, the there's the shot there. Tells you exactly what you get in the colour. Yeah. Amazing. That's so intense, isn't it? There. I mean, it's similar with what you were using with the with the seaside. That would have gone quite well with the it seaside would. look, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, it would. Yeah. It's that neon appetite. The appetite comes in many, many different colours. This is the classic for me because it's uh, it's been mistaken as Paraba tourmaline. It's very sort of Paraba esque, Paraba tourmaline esque. And that we've got a very, very, very early allocation on this already. Uh, we're going to give you one of the best prices that you've seen on these. Eight ninety five. Eight pounds and ninety-five for appetite, um, and the length on this do. Oh, there we go. It's there. Uh, Fifty centimeters. Fifty centimeters. Great look. 
absolutely great look. 14, I mean, these are just going to go. These, these are going to go. Eight pounds and 95 pence. Right, we're going to go quite quick, quite fast, quite furious. Uh, we are heading for... Is this what I think it is? Is this Ruby? Last of stock. Last of stock. We've got a lot to get through. Some of them don't have many in stock at all. We only have eight. Eight available. Shaded Ruby. 35 carats of Ruby. Calm down. Dibs, calm down. <laughs> it is... It is red though, isn't it? Uh, it is. It's, it, it's every shade of red in here. On the deep dark colours, look at that. Look at that. Faceted ruby. There are only eight of these available. So you've got a 3x1, 3 to 4x2 and a 21 centimetre strand. Um, wonderful, wonderful rich reds. I love the graduation of shades on these as well. Remember this corundum gemstone, so same, uh, same family as sapphires, but of course you don't get red sapphires because they're what you're looking at here. Straight down to the price on this, 1995. That is genuine ruby. This is the genuine gemstone company. Oh, hello. Um, I, was, I, was like, I was like I was in an 80s video there, for a, a, more like a 70s video. <laughs> 1995 only three of those left only three of those left right right I want you to I want you to I want you to if you're, if you're standing up you might want to sit down okay you might want to sit down I am about to bring you um, something rather special this is the most considered strand that I have ever brought you. But when you hear what I've got for you, you'll understand why. Um, if we just, is it just the one? Okay, we have one left. We have one of these left. This is your black diamond strand. Look at the luster. Three carats of faceted black diamonds. Now, when we talk about black diamonds, we talk about adamantine luster, and this is a masterclass in luster. 10 on the most hardness scale means you can get an incredible polish on it, and that means you have that amazing, amazing luster off the top. Now, within this piece, you have a huge, huge amount of black diamonds. Um, if I just... If I just put that, we've got five in between my fingers here. Five in between my fingers here. So it gives you an idea of how many that you're getting. Individual, uh, gone, 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 gone. Uh, I'm so sorry that basically um, arrived to us and disappeared very quickly. That was the last one, the last one. Um, box number 16 is Rainbow Quartz. <gasps> Wow, this is one I've not seen before. Have you seen this one, Debs? I've Look not seen this. that strand, no. I love that, because no, when I looked at it, I thought, are you sure it's rainbow quartz? I can't see the rainbow on it. But then, if we can dive into one of those, and when the light hits the gem, you get this wonderful rainbow effect on the gemstone. Really, really nice indeed. There, you can see some of that. See what I mean? It looks, you get that pure white, but then as the light catches it, um, it's really, it's sort of, I think it's one of these gemstones which is a little bit hard to catch on the camera. But, uh, Debs, can you just come yeah. and have a quick look at this? Right, have a look at that. And it, doesn't it look pure white? And then when you move yeah. it, Ooh. you get that shit, it's like a moonstone, isn't it? Uh, but for some reason, it's not coming it's across. It's got a whole rainbow of colours. Yeah, hasn't it? you can see it there. I can see it there. But look, it's not really coming across. It's There's not. a little bit in the background, in the in the background shots there. But isn't that nice? It's like fairy wings. Yeah, it's like it's like guaranteed moonstone. That is yeah, guaranteed yeah. Schiller. Love it, absolutely love it. And this wonderful sort of uh, gnarled finish, very natural sort of finish uh, to the uh, to the quartz there as well. That is. Gorgeous! Not seen those before. They're like big. They're like big sugar cubes, aren't they? Yeah. Those or yeah. um, icebergs coated with fairy dust. Icebergs coated with fairy dust. Oh. oh, you're a poet. Icebergs <laughs> coated with. Do you know what? 
Should write books. <laughs> Should write books. I read them. Uh, right, next up. Oh, haven't we? I thought you said move on. <laughs> I'm, I'm ramping up the pace. Where are you? <laughs> Nine ninety five. <laughs> How fast do you want me to go, Danny? Uh, nine ninety five. Nine ninety five on that. Uh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful colour. A uh, thirteen centimetre strand. Eight by seven to twelve by eleven millimetres on that. Ah, yes. Yes. Oh, so these ones here, we've, uh, you've got these, uh, sh one's shell pearl and one is uh, like your little uh, rice pearls on here. You have, you have your wonderful silver finish to these. Uh, so you have your silver shell pearls and your lilac fresh water pearls, lilac. Do you say lilac or lilac? Lilac. Yeah, I say lilac. Who says lilac? Someone does, don't they? Someone in the building says lilac. Do they? Yeah. Lilac. So I went, what's that? Lilac. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, lilac. <laughs> lilac. A lilac. Lilac. Um, you can say what you like, can you? You know? Yeah, I suppose you can. The world don't move to the beat of just one drum, does it, Dibs? Uh, this is uh, your silver. Uh, and again, sort of... Um, Different feels, you know, it's silver pearls. It's it's the sort of thing that to have in your in your armory. Uh, you can be searching mm. for something just to finish off a design. Maybe as a transition from the chain through to the actual design. Yeah. On you know that sort because they're almost like a finding, aren't they? They look a little bit like a finding. Uh, with yeah, the they silver. do look quite metallic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I think they were because they have. Um, the orient of a pearl as well showing on there. Yeah. You get the other colours, so they work with um, yeah, yeah, yeah. your rose gold as yeah. well as your yellow gold and your silver. Yeah. Which is quite clever. They're a uh, bit like a chameleon. Debs has got this one. Debs is working on this one as we speak. I am. As we speak. Uh, we, 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 we are going to give you an amazing, amazing deal on these. Two strands. Six pounds and ninety-five pence. Six pounds ninety-five. Uh, that is your silver shell pearls um, and your lilac freshwater pearls on there as well, and uh, quite a large selection of those as well uh, in the in the two single strands. Obviously, a lot more the lilac because they're, the, they're the smaller and the same size strand. But those silver pearls, uh, good size, uh, good colours. Wonderful, wonderful colours in the silver, and so usable. I think it's you know it's important to buy things to stock up with. Um, but at six pounds ninety-five, you know you get you get a couple of strands of these. So I think you're going to be using these um, a heck of a lot, especially with the eight millimeter silver shell pearls on there as well. Six pounds and ninety-five pence. We have got something um, a little bit special for you. Now, we don't have it every single day. It is an opportunity for you to get one of our most sought after gemstones. It's our star buy. Welcome back to our star buy and for our star buy I have for you remember we are the genuine gemstone company I have a gemstone here for you now which the uh, um, uh, basically it was uh, um, the warning about the availability of tanzanite was flagged up uh, probably going back a year now when um, Steve went to uh, one of the trade shows and it was a case of the price of tanzanite had gone up um, by quite a huge amount and um, he decided um, i think he got some in the end but he had to do a lot of bartering to get it but the price had gone up almost doubled overnight the next gem fair that he went to uh, in hong kong they were closed for the first time ever closed bids on tanzanite so that's a case of 
the gem dealers weren't saying I want this much for tanzanite they're basically saying how much are you willing to pay for my tanzanite and then the last time he went out he actually didn't get any at all and uh, the last time we went out to Tanzania, remember we work a lot uh, with the artisanal miners, not so much the big uh, uh, Tanzanite one, uh, but the more artisanal miners, um, and it was like a ghost town. No one, because obviously you've got the people down looking for the gemstones, but if they're not bringing the gemstones up, then it doesn't support that secondary of the sorting of the, of the lapidus, of the gem dealing that goes on. So if, if there's no gemstones coming out, there's no point for people to stay. These places are remote places. If the gems aren't coming out of the ground, everybody goes off to find where they are coming out of the ground other gemstones um, so tanzanite is getting very 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 thin on the ground this is a full strand probably one of the longest strands i think of tanzanite uh, that i have brought you um, within this single strand uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 2, 4, 6, 8. Approximately 50 individual beads. 50 individual tanzanites. That's a good selection of tanzanite in one strand. For a gemstone which has this wonderful delicate blue has this it's a, it's a gemstone which is over 95 percent of all tanzanite is heat treated and that's because the base gemstone that comes out of the ground zoocyte uh, comes out green or brown now when you heat treat zoocyte it turns into uh, the, the subtle delicate blues uh, that we know so well for it um, that was said to be discovered after a scrub fire. The, uh, the Maasai tribesmen discovered after a scrub fire that uh, the Tanzanite or the zoocyte had turned this wonderful colour. Then on they started um, placing it into their campfires and just the, the heat of the campfire would turn it into, uh, into Tanzanite. Now, um, I also know of a gemologist that decided to try out this theory by wrapping a piece of zoocyte rough and placing it in his barbecue while he cooked dinner and, uh, and then at the end he unwrapped it and he took it out and it had turned blue as well. So there is, there is a little bit of theory behind the, behind the myth of how this was found as well. Um, beautiful colour, wonderful tone, your tanzanite blues, um, you get these uh, lovely little delicate hues, almost like a, a, like a, I mean it's a, a pleochroic gemstone, so you get a wonderful sort of secondary hues in there as well. You've got 200 carats, 200 carats. It is considered, but what I want you to be aware of is you have approximately 50 tanzanite. 50 tanzanite in each strand. Tanzanite strands we don't do too often. Tanzanite is only from the one source, from Tanzania. We are going to offer this to you today and if you look at any of the websites, if you look at any of the prices of Tanzanite, we are going to do this today for 50 cents a carrot. 50 pence a carrot. 200 carrots in total. You have got, I mean look at that colour. Classic, classic tanzanite colour on there. Wonderful strikes of blue. Now like I say, this is a pleochroic gemstone. And um, when I, uh, um, uh, when I first started looking at tanzanite, it was, um, you'd look up and it would say you would find little, little hints of yellow in it. I could never find the mm. yellows in the pleochroism of the gemstone. And it's because when you heat treat the zoocyte, uh, you tend to lose the yellow colour. So you get more, you get the dark blues, the lighter blues, and the flashes of pinks instead uh, within the gem. 200 carats of tanzanite in one single strand. If it is rarity, if it is exclusivity that you are after, that is what we can do for you. We can do incredible prices across the board. It does reflect on each individual gemstone that you are buying. This is high end. It's high end for you, it's high end for us as well. You can imagine we struggle to get tanzanite um, in any way, shape or form at the moment. We are having to to go a bit further to get this. The miners are having to dig a little bit deeper in this. They're, they're down to about 800. They're only going to go to 1,000 metres. Once they get to 1,000 metres, that is it. They cap off the mine because the costs of getting out of the mine are just too much. Eight millimetres. Under 100 pounds. That's 50 
pence per carat. That's two pounds per bead. It is an incredible price for tanzanite. This is the gemstone that for the first time since 1912 had a gemstone been added to the American birthstone list. This is the gemstone that broke the mold. Took about a hundred years, but this is the gemstone that got added. The first one to get added uh, since 1912. You've also got a gemstone here, which is now being classed as one of the five precious. They have, you've got four precious gemstones, your emeralds, your sapphires, your rubies, and your diamonds. Um, you've got here the fifth precious gemstone now, 99 pounds and 95 pence. Love tanzanite, it's a great color. It's a great opportunity. I do understand that it is considered, you know, if not today, always keep it in mind that we do have this available every now and again. Um, 99 pounds and 95 pence on that. 0800 644 655. Uh, next up, next up, uh, the box to the left. Don't look to the left, don't look to the right. Um, I have got for you, um, I, I have got for you, how about a string of pearls? How about a string of pearls? Wonderful peach pearls. Uh, we're going to whiz through whiz through uh, the last few pieces. We've got the last few uh, pieces uh, in the box that I want to get through here on my left. Uh, these are your peach pearls. Again, wonderful, delicate peachy colours. 0800-644-655. Uh, these, are, these are your stock. You're always going to use pearls, aren't you, Dibs? You are? Always. Yeah. And I'm not somebody who goes, oh no, I can't put pearls with that, or I can't. So I like mixing pearls in with yeah. jasper or you know anything because because the way the light reacts with yeah, the yeah, surface, yeah. Yeah. it just seems to bring other gemstones alive as well. And you think as well, if you're buying pearls from elsewhere and playing maybe a bit more money for them, you mm. might be a bit. You know, you don't want. Yeah, you, possibly. You maybe think that you know. Oh, I don't really want to. Uh, you know, I want to save them for something special. Yeah. You know, use them. We are. Right, Dave. We are giving you incredible opportunities. Incredible opportunities. Peach, freshwater, cultured potato pearls. Uh, seven by eight millimeters. Eleven ninety five. Um, absolutely crazy. These are natural uh, freshwater culture pearls. Remember, this is um, a, a, a way of creating pearls which uh, was defined by Mr. Mikimoto. It is um, a case of putting a small mother of pearl uh, bead or mother of pearl or seed bead within the oyster. The oyster protects itself with this layer upon layer upon layer of nacre, and you get these wonderful shapes. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 30, 2, 4, 6, 8, 40, over 50. Over 50, 11 pounds 95. 11 pounds 95. Peach culture pearl, uh, all the way from China. Uh, by the way, if you want to name the fish, if you want to name the fish, uh, please do. Uh, please do. Um, uh, Julie wants to know: Is a fish or a boy or a boy or a girl? Ooh. You I don't made know. him. I don't know. I, yes. What do you think? You made You're, him. You have fish. You made him, look. Ah, uh, it's a him. Yeah. yeah. It's blue. It's, it's a male. him. <laughs> Call the fish fingers. Oh. <laughs> the old ones <laughs> are the best, eh? <laughs> I'm here a week at a chicken. <laughs> um, right. <laughs> fingers McGraw. <laughs> Fingers McGraw, um, the fastest fish in the West. Look, he's got his own show. <laughs> he's got his own show now, Dave. Does he need an agent? He yeah, might do. He might do. Yeah. I'll be his agent. Okay. Um, I'll look after you, Dave. Uh, Amethyst graduated plane rondelles. Uh, they are eight, uh, eight by two millimeters, thirty-eight centimeters round. You get a whole, a whole heap of uh, rondelles on one strand. A whole heap. You've got, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, you've got about ten, ten between my fingers. 
Okay, so you've got about 10 between my fingers. Look. Look. There is a whole heap of those. A whole heap of those. That is, that is awesome. Lovely colour, beautiful colour. And your gems of distinction. You right there? Yeah. You made that noise just as Tom walked in the door then. Do you know that? Tom walked in the Tom door and Debs went, ooh. <laughs> oh, dear. Has that ever happened to you before, Tom? Only with you. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think you'll find mine was a, ooh. Oh. <laughs> I think fishing out on here. Um, and with this graduated <laughs> plain rondelles, are you ready? You get a load in here, absolute load in here. Love you, Tom. <laughs> Six by two to eight by two millimeters, thirty-eight centimeters. Your amethyst, uh, sixteen ninety-five, sixteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Um, a huge selection absolutely massive strand uh, and these I mean these are great for you know if you want to go from mm. so like like your pearls like your round beads yeah. and space them out it yeah. really creates something quite spectacular doesn't it yeah I, I just use all of those in one necklace and put um, a you cream rebel I know <laughs> I just go for it you know I like that all or nothing and what you sorry what you don't I, um, I interrupted yeah. I was, I'm I'd space them out yeah with uh, little crimp tubes, yeah. not the crimp bead, crimp tubes yeah, yeah, in between yeah. each gemstone, and then it would it would just flow, almost serpent-like. I think they're your awesome. Neck. I think they're, they're awesome. Gorgeous. At uh, sixteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Love the colour. Now we've also got, we've also got. Um, Da, 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 da. Hey. Oh, hello. You keep these hidden. Uh, moonstone. Oh, look at that. Please tell me you can see that. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Look. Look at that amazing shiller off the top that is awesome 165 carats in your moonstone have a look at that iridescence that you get out of that gemstone this is um, and um, this is what's known as a phenomena gemstone so if you have a gemstone with a venturescence adularescence um, with what's another one uh, pearlescence on their shiller um, chatoyancy, um, asteris, um, asterism, uh, if they have something like that on, they're known as a phenomena gemstone. They have a phenomena attached to them. This is a 20 centimeter strand, and it's, uh, I mean, it's one of those pieces that catches, this is a gemstone that catches the eye, doesn't it? If someone is sort of, you're yeah. talking to someone, and all of a sudden you're gonna move, <laughs> and you get that little rainbow, you know, yeah. that little rainbow of color. Just draws the attention to the piece of jewelry. It was um, the first, piece of gemstone jewellery that I ever bought myself oh, yeah. was a rainbow yeah. moonstone necklace it was and it it's just compelling because yeah, yeah. you can't believe it's actually happening yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it's sort of because the thing is by the time you see it you catch it in your eye and then you look at it it would have yeah. gone again and then, yeah. it, then it flashes again and that's the whole idea you know keep people guessing about what you've got people guessing about the gemstones but look at all that and that's wonderful 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 quality on there a um, hundred and sixty-five carats, one hundred and sixty-five carats uh, in that one single strand. So good size pieces. You have a big, a big central one uh, graduating out, and 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 quality, quality, quality. Thirty-two pounds and ninety-five pence. That is awesome in its size, in its shiller, 
and that wonderful glow that you get and you see the quality of the moonstone that you've got here and the quality in the crystal allowing you to see I mean look at that that is amazing absolutely amazing that's like someone's holding a torch <laughs> in the back of the gemstone isn't it and shining yeah. out absolutely incredible and wonderful on all those pieces 32 pounds and 95 pence um, now then I was very very lucky upstairs uh, very lucky upstairs to uh, to have uh, to have a, a kunzai hour top 10 kunzai hour um, I've got here I've got here actually uh, some kunzai uh, is it kunzai and pearls kunzai and pearls named after George Frederick Kunz chief gemologist with Tiffany's at the time you have these wonderful delicate pinks these beautiful pastel pinks um, we're going to put these alongside uh, your pearls here as well uh, two gorgeous strands 180 carats of your kunzai in your plain rounds uh, and then we have nine by eight millimeter champagne cultured pearls um, high-end beauty high-end beauty well it certainly is with kunzai because I know um, very very rarely do we see it here but the color the pastel color that wonderful pink that you get out of kunzai is echoed in this strand that you see here all the way from Brazil there's a few different mines in Brazil the, the one of note is uh, Minas Geras of course uh, general mines all along that uh, uh, east coast of the um, of Brazil you have this wonderful selection of mines um, we have some gorgeous gorgeous colors in our gemstones this certainly has to be one of the most gorgeous I think with the kunzai onto the pearls the champagne as well I mean the pinks and the champagnes absolute luxury absolute luxury your champagne pearls good selection in your champagne pearls uh, 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 2 4 6 8 30 2 4 6 8 40 so again we're looking at about 50 in the pearls um, and we're probably not far away for probably about 50 in the kunzite as well so you're getting a hundred a hundred different pieces. Those colours really go together, don't they? They do, yeah. It's soft and feminine, isn't it? It's, uh, and also, it's, it's again, the different surface finish that you've got yeah, yeah. is, is yeah. sort of, they're complementing yeah. each other. Like little cloudy, like little Gorgeous. pink clouds, these are, your kunzite. Um, High-end beauty, including uh, your kunzite plain rounds I think that is certainly uh, the, the talk about factor of this of this of this particular uh, couple that we've got here for you 180 carats 44 pounds and 90 pence and when you think of the high-end gemstones we're talking about here when you talk about the high-end uh, kunzite that we're talking about here 44 pounds 90 wonderful wonderful when you wrap it around when it's intertwined with the champagne pearls on there as well stunning 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 oh we've been treated we're going to treat you even more we're having a price crash a tropical price crash the price isn't rising it isn't surprising it's going real low 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 29.95 uh boom boom shake the room dibs tick 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 boom yeah I can agree with that 29.95 um, Fernando. Fernando can you name the fish Fernando oh. can you see it swimming round the place like it owns it today you've got quite big Fernando have you eaten everybody that is working in this place? <laughs> oh my goodness, you have got bigger than my whole face. <laughs> there was something in your food tonight. You got real bright, Fernando. Um, Fernando's, I think that's, that's definitely top of the list at the moment, isn't it? I think, Brilliant. I think. Yeah, it has to be. <laughs> is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's, it's Fernando. Fernando. Uh, 29 pounds and 95 pence. Uh, Kunzite <laughs> plane rounds and your champagne pearls there as well. Um, we've also got some aquamarine coming up for you. 
No, nothing like a fishy interlude. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Is this uh, is this aquamarine? Check these. This is gorgeous colour. Really nice. Uh, ro are these rondelles? Classed as rondelles? Faceted wheels. Uh, faceted wheels. Uh, these are your aquamarine. Allochromatic gemstone. Get its gets its colour from iron impurities. In this case, giving you this wonderful, wonderful blue. Oh my goodness, really? Oh, we've got a, gr we got a great price as well. We're going to start this. We're going to start this at probably where I would expect this to be. Um, I think great prices that Danny's been doing uh, all afternoon. This is where I expect to be, but we're going to go even lower. This is aquamarine. Do you know what I love about these sorts of gemstones? Is people know the price of aquamarine. They yeah. see it on the high street, don't they? They can yeah. recognise it. Um, and when you have aquamarine in your designs it gives you that little bit of kudos as well i think like you like um, mm. if you, people love what they know you know um it's, we, whenever we whenever we feel as presenters that we are um that we're repeating ourselves that maybe we're telling you something that you know mm. and you can never really lose if you repeat stuff because you're either telling someone who doesn't know something new yeah or if you tell somebody something and they already know it then it it, it almost feels like, you know, they have that knowledge with you as well. You know, yeah. you, you, a lot of you would have seen a lot more gemstones than a lot of jewellers would have seen. So you've got, you'll have a lot of knowledge that you don't even realise that you've got. Yeah. You know, I'll say something and you go, yeah, I know that. Yeah. You know, but remember, not everybody knows that. Always, always impart your knowledge on your customers, um, especially uh, with gemstones uh, such as this, aquamarine, that, you know, they just don't, they may see it in shots, they go in and buy it, think it looks pretty, but if you've got some information on it, you know, show, show your knowledge, show your skills as well, not just in your jewellery, but in the knowledge that you have. Aquamarine, aquamarine, this wonderful blue, love it, absolutely love it. It's a beautiful gemstone, stunning, and at £12.95 for a whole strand, that's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, 21 centimetres, 9 by 3 millimetres. Um, I'm intrigued what number 15 is. Uh, box 6. We've got... We've got... We've got a wonderful selection. Have a look at this. Uh, an unusual trilogy, this. You have got your um, potato pearls, your uh, round pearls, and I'm assuming it's amethyst, is it? Uh, yeah, perf perfect pastels. I read that as perfect pasta for a minute there. <laughs> Getting peckish. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect pastels, amethyst, your shell pearls in peach and in white. Uh, so you have these lovely sort of baroque shaped pearls uh, here in the center uh, in the peach. Then you have your classic rounds in your white. This is, uh, this is an armory filler, this, isn't it? Um, mm. Absolutely amazing. How many of these do we have? Okay, 33 only. 33 only and... Are you ready? Are you ready? Check this out. It's going to be scary, though. It is. It is dibs. It's going to be very scary, dibs. <laughs> Do that face again, dibs. No. Oh. You didn't catch it the first time. You're not <laughs> getting it again. <laughs> that was the face. Uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Eight pounds ninety-five. That's under three pounds a strand. Right. Uh, we may be having a bit of laugh, uh, me, Dibs, and Dave, uh, but uh, we are bringing you amazing deals as well. Ama sorry, me, Dibs, and Fernando. Uh, we are bringing you amazing deals. Uh, don't let them pass you by. Eight pounds ninety-five. Three strands. Your amethyst. Your amethyst. Uh, wow, Drew. More, more, more. Uh, sing some more. Great voice. Great show. Great guest designer and guest. Uh, great presenter. Uh, love to Lucy for a speedy recovery. 
If she comes back, I can't come on, though, so that's the trouble, yeah. isn't it? You know, it's a double edged yeah. sword, that one. Uh, but thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, uh, love the show. Can we have Drew more often, please? Uh, so you get, trust me, you get fed up with me. You get fed up with me, uh, if, you have me if you have me too often. Um, I, I used to, I used to um, after school, I used to hang out with a mate, and his mum used to say, um, I love Drew, he's a nice kid, but I couldn't live with him, he's too loud. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was destined Aww. to be a presenter, wasn't I, really? Uh, £8.95. Uh, but thank you very much. Thank you very much for your messages. I do appreciate that. This is less than three pounds a strand. Less than three pounds a strand. Linda, Christine, Lindsay, Carol, Gillian, uh, Outer Hebrides. Not all of the Outer Hebrides. Obviously, someone in the Outer Hebrides. Um, Eileen, well done. Janine, uh, Jane, Chris in Cleveland, Jeanette, and Nicola in Bedfordshire. Well done, well done, well done, well done, well done. Um, call him Bob. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> Uh, who are they talking about? Bobbing along. The fish. Call Bob the Bob the fish. Bob the fish. If if fish is bo if the fish is bobbing, <laughs> yeah, he needs to worry. Um, uh, why pick one name? Well, he could have a double barrel name, couldn't he? Fernandez Bob. No, that doesn't. Work. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! We might be able to use all the names the way it's going. <laughs> I don't know what Fernando's been up with, but I'll tell you what, there was something in the air tonight. The stars were bright. <laughs> Fernando. Blimey. Right. Um, uh, you may be laughing, but that's uh, five years at Media College. Um, <laughs> uh, box number 14. Uh, oh yes, oh yes. Uh, box number fourteen. So we've had uh, we've had the rainbow quartz. We have had uh, the moonstone. Now another phenomenon, gem. So with labradorite, uh, not named after the dogs, named after the Labrador Peninsula, which is uh, pop quiz. Anyone know where? Oh, Canada. Look at that. They've been listening. Look at that. <laughs> listening and they know as well. That's impressive. Uh, yeah, just uh, just above Alberta in Canada, uh, which is actually where um, amylite, uh, amylite is found as well. Uh, this is 200 carats of Labradorite. You get this lovely shell. This is small little crystals below the surface of the gem. Small little fibers, sorry, below the surface of the gem. Uh, and they give you these a wonder, wonderful shiller, these beautiful shiller that you get off the, or labradorescence, as it's known as in your labradorite. 200 carats, uh, 6 by 3 uh, to 11 by 6 millimeters, 38 centimeters uh, in the strand. A big strand, a very big strand. What would you do with these, Debs? What would you do? Do you like your labradorite? I do. It's one of my favourite gemstones. I like moonstones. Do you like moonstones? Moonstone, similar, yeah. yeah uh. Tiger's eye. Anything that's got that that sort of play light across the surface, um, because it's so unusual. And I really like the darker tones because with labradorite you get um, some of them can be a pale grey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right the way through to almost um, a midnight sky colour. Um, and, and the greens as well with the base tone, but I, I think that strand's gorgeous. It, It'd go very well with your uh, with your sea um, seascape, it would. wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, it would. Picking up on the blues with the the, um, the colours coming out of it, but um, it'd look amazing as well with that um, amethyst that we had earlier. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you've got a similar sort of tone to yeah, the yeah. strands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the intensity of the amethyst, Ama really a, a, amazing labradorescence from these as well. It Just is. about it's every incredible. single one is giving you that sparkle, that wonderful, wonderful glow of the strand. You've got a fantastic surface there because it's smooth. It's it's just it's like the colours that are coming off it are just wrapping yeah, yeah. the gemstone, yeah, yeah, aren't they? Yeah. It's lovely, almost like mystical sort of finishes to it. Uh, Two hundred. Carrots that equates to a lot of gemstones 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 30, 2, 4, 6, 8, 40. Again, uh, you're looking at about 100, 
a hundred gemstones. One hundred, approximately one hundred gemstones in a strand. Love the colour. Love the colour. Great price for you on this. Uh, when you break that down, nineteen ninety-five for a hundred individual labradorite graduated plain rondelles. Uh, 0800 Jewelrymaker.com, of course, is where you can find us uh, for the uh, inspiration. If you've been inspired by uh, Debs today, uh, don't forget you can also go on there and check out the, uh, uh, the tutorials as well. Um, gallery is having fun. Thanks for brightening up a dull afternoon. Hashtag <laughs> fish. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hashtag fish. <laughs> um, oh, who's fishing for a compliment? Do you know what? You know what? That's why you're in the gallery with jokes like that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh no! Dude, there's a whole dude, show. Dude, dude. It's like the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> Matrix of the fish world. Move along. Nothing to see here. These aren't <laughs> the chips you're looking for. That's Star Wars. That's not Matrix. Uh, 1995. Uh, we're going to do all the amethyst amethyst drops amethyst um, huge briolet drops gorgeous uh, lovely do you call them briolet drops they're like of this faceted on both sides uh, faceted pairs check out those wonderful like they're like chandelier drops these they aren't are they? yeah, yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. Can you imagine making a chandelier with them? That'd just be amazing, wouldn't oh, it? Oh yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, there Ooh you go. yeah. There's a challenge. There's a challenge for <laughs> there you. There is, yeah. Next time I want a chandelier made out of amethyst uh, amethyst drops. Uh, 135 carats uh, pink amethyst. Uh, graduated faceted pairs uh, pairs from uh, pairs. <laughs> yeah. uh, I've got some pairs. Um, approximately 8 by 6 to uh, 18 by 10 millimeters and a 15 centimeter strand. Uh, but I love the way you've got. Uh, now, when you see color such as that's known as banding in a gemstone, it's not always um, desirable. But when you get it in this sort of look and you get it in, um, in a uniform across all the pieces, then you get this wonderful little. It draws attention to draws attention uh, to the purples that you see in there. Fourteen pounds and ninety five pence. One hundred and thirty five carats pink amethyst graduated faceted pairs. Uh, Fifteen centimeter strand on that, but gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color on that. Um, Fourteen pounds and ninety five pence. Crazy deal. Crazy deal. It's a crazy, crazy, crazy. Here's a deal. Uh, I'm going to take the wire with me. We're going to go over and see uh, what Dibs has been doing. Didn't so, get uh, much done. Didn't get much done. I think you've no. done quite well. In between talking about fish. Yep. I think we've done mm. we've done quite well. I think we've done quite well. <laughs> yeah. And I've been working we've quite hard. Right. You've done you've done yeah. all right over here. You're not going to be using the jewelry up. Um, and that is utilising uh, the uh, the pink and the or the peach, sorry, and the silver, um, and uh, gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. It amazes me, you know. In between chatting away, <laughs> in between doing everything you can do, you come up with these amazing designs. Um, I love that. I love that heart design in the centre there. Well, it's nice to have a little really central piece, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it's quite quirky, really. Yeah, and a bit yeah. A bit. Um, no, we like that. Nulled, yeah. Like a nulled, a nulled look. A bit Dali esque. Yes. A bit Dali esque there. Ooh, I do like a bit of Dali. Do like a bit of Dali. Um, incredible. <laughs> incre and this, you know, this is what you can do. This is what we're here for. This is what we're here for to inspire you, uh, to bring you designs, to show you pieces uh, that, you know, get on the web, have a look at the tutorials. Um, everything you see here, you know, Debs obviously has had to has, has had to do these uh, uh, incredibly quick. So they're all really basic techniques. Yeah, aren't they? they are. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing complex there. It's basically, so. uh, um, you know, getting getting some of these getting some of these strands, you know, getting some of the findings, putting them all together, and coming up with some awesome awesome pieces. 
Don't forget um, the wire, the wire bundle that we did um, is still available at the moment. That is the square wire. So we've got the square wire and the gold wire there as well. Um, you've got the antique bronze, you've got the silver coloured wire, uh, that's in uh, one millimeter, the silver colour in 0.8 and the gold colored in 0.6 as well. Uh, so that is still available, still available uh, if you want to come in and get that. There's all the information there as well. But the square is incredible. Yeah, um, really nice. Deb's made a ring out of that earlier on as well, which mm -hmm. I really liked, really liked that style. Thank you so much again. I think, the, good. I think the fish was the highlight. That's I think good. the fish was definitely the highlight uh, <laughs> for me, and I was a highlight for you as well. Uh, Thank you so much for watching. I've had a great afternoon. It's absolutely flown by. Uh, Ali is coming up next, so do not go anywhere. Uh, from myself and Debs, thanks again, Debs. You've been awesome. You. As always, you you've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Ali's up next. <laughs>